Eileen. All right, I'd like to call to order the uh, March 18th meeting special agenda for the deliberations of the budget. Start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. As a note, we have five members here with Eileen on the phone. Uh, we're going to go through a process of uh, quick reviews and then we'll hopefully uh, be able to bring it to vote tonight. Uh, we'll start off by the review the changes we made last night. We had two questions to Marsha for last night and some other changes. Um, you had several questions. Steve has got the answers. That, um So you want to talk, which one do you want to talk about first? <coughs> Whatever order trees, we had the trees. trees. Okay, public works. One of the issues, remember, I, and I remember this last year, we kept it at 75,000 because we have the ash borer mm -hmm. killing the uh, trees, and that's continuing and expanding. Uh, we can work with $60,000. I prefer 75, but we can work with 60,000. Um, the ash borer is going to continue to be an increasingly difficult problem if we identify more and more trees that are subject to it. Um, does that make sense? Yep. Do Overtime? Want, uh, do we, we want to discuss, while well, he does it, do yeah. we want to discuss them right now? Right now. Let's As take go it through line by 60,000? I still want to go 60,000. Yes. Yeah. Agree. Done. 60,000. Yeah, we can do that. Overtime? Oh. Yep. Hold on. Okay. Uh, am I on mute? Or? You're on. We can hear you. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay with that too. All right. Okay. All right. So for overtime, remember we had, uh, if I had, have the number correct, six events this year where we had to go out because of icy conditions. We didn't have a lot of snow, but we did have six events where our guys were out. So it's like not quite as bad as a snowstorm, but in some ways it's worse because we have to continue okay. to lay down. So you understand the overtime line? Yep. With it. You understand right. the overtime Perfect. line, and we're yep. going to watch it carefully next year. Next, as you do with all of them. Yeah. Okay, facilities. Um, there was uh, a discussion a few years ago when we put the uh, above ground tank at Public Works. Yes. Right? We had a roof on it too. Yeah, we added the roof to it, which we couldn't get in the original budget. But when we did that, there is a requirement to add security to the site because that tank's above ground. Mm -hmm. We had a choice of putting a fence around Public Works, which I think we should do at some point, or put up cameras. Okay. So, so we can watch those cameras. So that really. that security, safety, and security was five thousand for cameras. Okay. Right. Um, access control <laughs> is also a problem. They have keys now to the buildings. We'd like to put them on fobs. So if somebody loses a key or has a problem, we if we have fobs, we just turn the fob off electronically. Okay. It's less expensive. We don't have to manage keys. So we'd like to put them on our fob system like we have here. Um, and that's a continuous thing year over year with You're two, right. two doors a year. No. And it also keeps a log of who went in the building, when they went in it, when they left. Because, like, Sheldon comes in every Monday and checks who accessed this building over the weekend. Just so we know who's who's doing what. Okay. It's always been that adds up to $10,000? Yeah, 5000 for each. 5000 for the security and safety and 5000 for the uh, FOBs. Okay. Anything else was on our list? I don't think there was actually. So now the cameras are a one time item and safety and security uh, access controls will be continued because we have to update fobs and we we're only going to put it on two doors to start with but we probably will fob them all at some point. Utilities, um, we discussed this with Jerry, our purchasing agent. <coughs> we can't lower our current year costs because we're locked in on a contract. Uh, we go through, uh, we locked in through 2021 in no to November 2021 at a slight reduction from the previous year. Uh, we asked today, we went out and felt out, hey, can we lock in for 21, 22? And no one, given the volatility in markets, is willing to give us prices at this point in time because it's, well, everybody's trying to lock in. It's yeah. the lowest price right. per barrel right now. Right. And these guys are afraid. 
So uh, I think we're going to continue to look at it, and Jerry looks at it. So I think we're good there. Does that make sense? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And recreation communication. This is uh, the cell phones are used year round by the staff. And there are some things that said yeah. parks on them, but it's a hot spot. And when they're not used in the summer, they're used not as continuously, but right. they're used over the winter for different purposes. So we take a white, uh, hot, hot spot over to Cadigan mm -hmm. for the state. Eileen, can you hear us clearly? I can. Yep, perfectly okay, fine. And she did, um, when she had to make a decision on what to do, she did uh, look at the option of cutting it off and then restarting, and this was it's a better about option. the same expense. Okay. All right. I think that answered our questions. I think that was it. <coughs> all right. Yeah. Let's roll with the capital. Who wants to start? Ricky, you want to start on capital? Go on line by line. We really haven't touched this much at all. Okay. Um, at least a lot less than we have in the past. I agree. Sure. So I think okay. we need to go line by line. All right. Love it. <coughs> and kind of just talk about what, for the ones that we haven't talked about at all, what what's being done and why it's being done this year. So let's. I'll drive if you want. Okay, Steve, do you want to drive it or you want us no, to? No, no, go ahead. If you got All right, so the first, the first, so we're, we're we're starting on general government, and we have a land use GIS additional funding paid currently for for nine right. grand. So last year we had thought Westcott did a GIS program and did all eleven towns in Westcott. The quality of the images were not usable by us, they didn't have the level of detail. So we need to do another flyer of our own. Just yeah, what we have is making it hard for the land. Yeah. That one we talked about. Yeah, we did. That one we talked about. Yeah, right? yeah. Fairness, yeah. that one we talked about. Yep. So th that's what we'd like to yep. do with that. The assessor reserve. <coughs> the assessor reserve, we do that every year. Yep. And, and the scheduling program, 25 grand. Yep. Talk yep. About that it. was my heartburn item, I'll be honest with you. So Marsha has been much more involved in this, if, if you give a description of what So we talked a little bit about it, and I would be fine if you delayed it, um, just because we had the timesheet one that we're still working on, and it just keeps getting pushed back as, as we don't, we've gone out to bid and we've had interviews, um, but we haven't started setting anything up. So if you delayed this, it, it may not be much of a time difference. I would delay it. I would as well. They yeah. still have, yeah. Yeah, you guys are still interviewing people. I'm so. comfortable with that. Uh, Jay, you know, Peter Frames is spending a lot of time. We had that discussion. It's not critical this yep. year. It's a real nice to have, but I'm it, fine It was. With it was one of the only things that really flagged as a, and to be honest with yep. you, I'm not even thinking too. I agree. Mm -hmm. So I say that we you all agree to remove yes. it? Yep. All right. Mm -hmm. Postpone it to next year. I think yep. I said I agree. Yes. Yep. Yep. Sorry. I agree. All right. <coughs> Now we're in the police. We have uh, three vehicles and a switch. Yep. They went in depth in that. Yep, they sure did. Mm -hmm. They sure did. That was good with all of them. Yep. yep. Okay. The switch is and something we can, we can revisit the switch, but I agree for now. Right. Okay, so what the switch, let's talk about it quick. I mean, you, what's your gut on that? I wrote that, uh, I wrote down that it could be pushed if it was needed, but I think that it's it's important enough to, to keep in for this pass and see where, and, and until we do our final review. Okay. Uh, Brookfield Volunteer Fire Company. The only so so the the, the equipment reserve 100 grand. Mm -hmm. That's fine. The rest of them are netted out, and then 15 thousand dollars for brick resealing. That was cut for the last two years. Yes, it was. Mm -hmm. Fine. So I have. I can, you yeah. push it back. Yeah. We keep talking about pushing things. No, back. I leave that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm, I'm, I mean, yeah. at some point you got to pay the pipe. Right. Yep. The next two I want to talk about: the asphalt, the center station, the asphalt right. for the drill pad. While I know they're important, my thinking goes along the lines of we could s take that out of the budget. I'm just, I'm just talking mm -hmm. to everybody. Put it. Put that hundred grand into contingency, <laughs> and if nothing goes catastrophic on the board of ed side or the town side where we need the money. Whether they get that from us towards the end of their mm -hmm. calendar year or at the beginning, I'm not sure that that would be a huge deal breaker. Which one? What are you talking about? The, the asphalt, asphalt at the center station and the asphalt drill pad for the headquarters. Those aren't in the budget. No. no. Mark is talking about putting them in there. No, they're in. No, they're, no, they're out. out. They're, they're out. out. You're right. Like they were requested, they were requested and removed. Where's the latest one of these then? That's Why don't I have that? This is the one she handed out last night. So it, one? It's been the same. It hasn't changed since. It hasn't changed. Been out it's right here. First yeah, selectman, first selectman yeah, budget doesn't have it in. Yeah. It's up here though. You can see it really easy. I can't see that far. Either. There you go. Here. 
Well, never mind. Okay. <laughs> okay, never mind. <coughs> we think we can run that off. Yeah. Ah. Mm -hmm. I agree with the first 11. <laughs> wow, write that down. <laughs> Not camera. Not camera anymore. <laughs> what minute is that? What that we reverse that and run it through again on like, slow mo. Like boomerang, not on, on uh, Instagram. <laughs> That's Steve's Christmas card. Next year. <laughs> 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 it's gonna be his quote for the next campaign. <laughs> I agree with oh, the first oh, 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 oh. I like both of those. Oh, they are versus me. That's oh, funny. That was very funny. All right, come on, let's go here. Let's. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Candlewood, we got the equipment reserve. That's it. Nope. Yeah. Good, good Which that. I think we should leave. Obviously, we've, we've neglected that. Absolutely, we got a reserve. Got a reserve. And they're down to zero, almost zero. Yeah, yeah we all agree, so we're good. Yep. So I'm not doing anything that you cut. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not debating yeah. whether yep. the we're cuts are right or wrong. No, we're so not I'm just going through what's in there. Right. The fire marshal has a Knox box. That's it. This is a safety issue. Yep. Okay. Paving, congratulations. I love it. 350 bonded, 1.15 current. Love it. Good work. That's the first thing. So, and, and I do notice that we're, we're all, all the way down, and that's the first thing we bonded so far. Excellent. All right. Vehicles. Okay, let's talk about, let's talk about what we need. So we have 270 for a dump truck that we're bonded, that we're financing. Right. And then two trucks that we're paying in cash. So talk about the need for those. Uh, I'll give you an example, like 48 BK Dodge. We pulled up the numbers. That's James, uh, James's vehicle, the maroon one. Uh, we have put $18,000 in that vehicle in the last three years in maintenance. And the 59 BK is 20, 21 years old. Again, it's rusting all out. The frame's rusting out. Um, and the, the f same thing with the 50, 450 patch truck. Uh, these these are vehicles we they're getting so old <coughs> it gets incredibly expensive to maintain, and they're out of service a lot. Just thinking, can we get another year? <coughs> I don't want to throw good money after bad, but we are trying to tighten uh, to save up some contingency money. Um, can you get another year into that? Uh, 4BK. We could. Yeah, there wasn't much of an explanation in the in the capital binder about. Um, I mean, just it had some information at, at the top of the the worksheets for the capital, but it really didn't explain like, is it a guy you need? You know, and it hasn't been asked for before. So I'm I, I'm kind of leaning towards taking one of those two out yeah, and I, not necessarily both, but pushing it on moving one out. I might even take year. half of it out this year. He gets half funded, then we only have to fund half of it next year. I know we can't buy it no. this year. But we, yeah. I think I think we honestly we could probably get another year out of the four BK. Okay. It might blow up on us, but we could take the chance. Mm -hmm. We put eighteen grand in it, so we might get another year out of it. Yeah. I you know, I talked to James, he says, Steve, it's one of those things if I had to bet on it, I think it'll last another year. Okay. How often is it used? He used he yeah. drives every day. It's his drive it's his car. It's, yeah, it's okay. so you want to take the seventy out? Uh, I, I say take the seventy. Out. Yes. Mm -hmm. You want to take both out? No, no the seventy. We want to take the seventy out. Yeah. Four, which, yeah, four BK. Yep. You know, and if worse came to worse, we have our maintenance truck here with the lift gate. If it's three months at the end of the year, we got a few spare trucks. Right. Eileen. Right. Uh, no, I'm fine with that. Yep. Right, okay. Marshall. That's. Oh, sorry. Dude, you guys are doing awesome. Don't get stressed <laughs> on this. Just keep going. All right. Roll with it. Down to uh, buildings. We got 425 bonded for the library windows. We talked about that in some good detail, but I know that's a topic, so you want to talk about that for a sec? My opinion is we do it. We've neglected the library because of the new library. We put it back, and the story of the doors catching kids. I, you know, I'm not going to have an eye come out for us neglecting. I got to be honest with you. I don't understand why we haven't started some of it already if we're banging doors in kids' heads. How's that? <laughs> Probably That's just me, one. personally. Exactly. Uh, we got to take care of the building. going to be ours, whether it's library or something else anyway, right? So we're not getting rid of the yeah. building. So yeah, and obviously that building's only going to get bigger if we keep neglecting it. Mm -hmm. I know part of it has been an issue of, you know, the the framing underneath is rotting out and everything, but the windows aren't, aren't sealed right. So yeah, I think it's time to start taking care of that. Yep, agreed. Okay. Everybody in agreement? Yep. Perfect. 
Okay. And next one is the town hall parking lot and sidewalks, $52,000. <laughs> Yeah, can we just go up to the town hall water tower before we skip over it? Sure. Where is that? Fifty thousand right below it's the, the library. One. It was taken out. Oh. Was that the one that you had? There was money from another project that's being. We did year. that I this didn't year. On it. We're so doing that right now. Okay. Remember, we transferred the money. Okay. That's why I that took it out. Okay. Yep. That's my thought. I just wanted. To we need it for air conditioning this summer, and it's a twelve-week lead time. I yep. lost that bid by four hundred bucks. Okay. <laughs> hey, that's the way it goes, big boy. Yep. Maybe should have been. I didn't bid the service department. I don't deal with them. Okay. <coughs> All right. So, so now, what is the sidewalks? Yeah. Out front. They're bad. You, oh, oh, attention. it's a trip hazard now. If you look at them, there are huge pieces of those missing. I think it's a safety issue. Uh, we've talked about this for years. Yeah, I don't know if it's clicked off, but we have talked about this for a number of years. It was cut and last year. It was cut last That's what it year. Says. And if you want, walk out and look at the front. It's we've done part of it, and it, about six years ago. And the plan was to do a little bit each year, but somehow it kept on getting cut. And right in the front of town hall, it's a it's a, it's a mess. So what about parking lot? That's the sidewalk piece. What about the parking lot piece? Um, is that parking? Well, I I think this is mostly just the sidewalk. That's just the sidewalk. Yeah. I think it says that because That's in his long term plan, he's got both. Gotcha. Could you make do with some repairs to the worst sections for maybe twenty five grand? We could. I think it would increase the overall cost if we could split it. I understand, but it'll spread it out over a couple of years. I'd really prefer not because each of the sidewalk sections that needs to be replaced is all chipped off at the where they meet. Well, I'd like to push the whole thing off of you. <laughs> you do have it as a three, right? Put it as a note to come back to. Is that a three? Let's put it as a note, but we see what we're or highlight it as a yellow or something. Let me go back to <coughs> it. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then. Can we put a question mark next to that for yeah. you? Yeah, for now. Let's see where we at. Yep. And then 10,000 for garage roof. Oh, uh, you skipped. No, no, you skipped. No, oh, I, I'm sorry. When I moved over. Oh, yep. There, I didn't have that column up. So the library bathroom being bonded for 50. Why? We, I, I remember we talked about this. Why are we bonding for a $50,000 project? Uh, it's a total of about an eighty-five to ninety thousand dollar project. We allocated money last year. It wasn't enough. We have to do the steps out. Remember the door downstairs. We have to make it ADA compliant. So to do all of that downstairs, they need another fifty. Yeah, they need another fifty, and it will last. Why are we bonding it? Well, because the last time we <coughs> touched the building was over thirty years ago, and it lasted that long. We can change it. Like there is a formula it. that you can't bond things that are going to last, you know, more yeah. than 20 years. You yeah. don't bond a vehicle. Yeah, that you I get bond. that. Right. I but no, and, and I get it. Speak wanna, your mind. Speak I mean, what you, you want to say. It. You can change it. No, no, I, 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 it's just the point, you know, we, we've talked about, you know, the smaller capital items being paid in cash, but it would just be something to consider when we're getting through this whole meeting. Yeah. So I agree that it's a project that we need to do. Um, so how we pay for it can be decided when we look at the final numbers, but. Um, the, the 35 that we put in last year was. Bonded? Cash. Cash. Okay. I have no problem moving it to cash. Where My preference is for cash. I mean, that's would you, would you trade your sidewalks for me? Exactly. No. That was, see, that's where I was. Well, now you put me in a real oh, hard place. That's, <laughs> I need both. <laughs> both. <laughs> that's my job. <laughs> but that truck. I'm both. I'm open that to how we find it. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, and so is the, yeah. But we're, 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 we're not yeah. looking for zero. We're looking for cuts. We have, well, no, I'm right. Speak yeah. what you want to speak. We're, we're, I, I think we need to cut the cash capital account. Yeah, and, and I would yeah. like to add something back to cut a bunch and add something to the contingency. Well, my but now remember, according to our 10-year plan, the cash is almost spot on to what that plan says. I know. Understood. I agree with it. I think that if you don't do it this year, you're going to have to do it in the future years, and you might run over the plan. I, I see your point, but we were very careful to try to get it as close as possible. To I that. agree. There, there's, Actual, there's, there's competing. There's, there's, there's discussions right always now about moving things into cash. Let, yeah, so let, but we've taken put your stuff cash out. line over. Let's go through the whole let's thing because I know these guys have been studying the capital. Mm -hmm. So yeah, let's go yeah, through okay. this and see where it all falls out. That was another one we can highlight. How's yeah. that to come back to? All right. The ADA bathroom? No. 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 What happened? Back to cash or something. We're going to go back over cash or Right. Let's see where we fall. I got to agree with Eileen a little bit. We talked about cash, and Steve's program has been cash. Yep. But it's going to put pressure on us somewhere else as well. So. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 
Keep going, Dan. Roll right. through. Next one is next one is the garage roof. Ten grand. Doing it in sections. Yep. Fine. Everybody good? Yeah. Right. Yep. I don't want to leave things in that are a second. <coughs> so what do you want? I we're gonna read, we're gonna look at that. I just don't think we're gonna get anywhere near where I think we're gonna. I want to be. Mm -hmm. Okay. So leave it in for now. Okay. Uh, <coughs> Security camera at the library. Right. Police talked about that. Yeah, pretty well needed. Absolutely. They said. I'm not touching that. Absolutely. All right. There's a number of things here on Parks and Rec that we have not talked about. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five things that are being paid with cash. Right. And they go and order. They have these numbers over here. They didn't order it by area. Um, they ordered it by in in total. So that the numbers are here. Oh. No, I, I like the way they did that. I appreciate that. So, Although I'm not sure one and one point one, but uh, oh, one point one was to take it out of someone else. Like All right. So, uh, aluminum leaf and chip box that has been cut for the last three years, eighty five hundred bucks. <coughs> I would leave it. Did we leave? We took that out last year. I thought. took it out. We took it out. Eighty nine years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 if I remember. Yeah. I, yeah. And the one we have is four. I mean, we take them out for three or four years and they come back. It says there's still a need. I agree. We got to pay. It's on no, no, I would leave it. Yep. Okay. All right. The zero turn mower. I would push that. I remember that was cut last year. I remember yep. thinking that it was cool, but that's about it. <laughs> they are funny <pretty> drugs. <laughs> <laughs> What's the benefit of that? Um, are we going to save on labor? Yeah, it's faster, more uptime. Yeah. You will. They're not replacing a guy because they have a zero turn mower. We're still going to have the same overhead, right? Yeah, but he can do more things. If he can do a, a thing in an hour when it normally takes him an hour and a half, that's a half an hour you can have him do something else. <coughs> I want to cut it. Cut it. Mm -hmm. I agree. I would cut it. All right, now the, uh, the green mower. I don't even know what that is. It's from my golf course in the backyard. <laughs> Group. What is a greens groomer? It, it brushes the grass, right, and grooms it all, right? An aerator. No. It's not an aerator. It's a no, I know what you're talking about. That's, yeah. And it gets the grass to grow healthier, so we have less replacement costs. The fields, like, will last longer. And it's not a, re oh, it's a replacement, so we have one that yes. clearly doesn't work. It will, it's like 25 years old, and it works horribly. Those purchase, the one that they have was purchased more than 10 years ago. So I would leave that. Yeah. I'll be the first to speak. So, last 10 years. And it's used to, for the town turf, yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's useful. Okay. I, I agree. Mm -hmm. All right, moving on. Yeah. Uh, the 2011 rack body replacement. That I would get rid of. Unless you tell us it's completely falling apart. Yeah. I don't think it's completely falling apart. It's the not. The first years are asking for it. It's down to a ten, so it can't be that bad of a situation. Mm -hmm. else want to talk about that? Mm -hmm. Are the experts on that? <coughs> What's it used for? Oh, I mean, carrying dirt, carrying supplies. So it's not a true safety stuff. issue, uh, like or. I don't think it's to like the point of a safety issue. No. Okay. All right, and then the bin truss and roof replacement. So that one's getting rid of the 65. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think this is at the high school. Yeah. It's if you've been over there and looked at the building. Yeah, we've got it two years in a row. Yeah, it it really. I think we're getting to a safety point. And, you know, they have different priorities than I do. Safety matters more to me. The guys look at okay, I think it'll last another year. I'm gonna flag that one. Okay. Okay. I, I'm, I'm keeping track of the rows that we're coming back to. <coughs> Wait, which one was that? That was the uh, oh. row 77. In, if you're in, in the trust roof replacement at the high school for the Parks and Rec building down by the tennis courts. Yeah. 20,000. All right. Okay. Parks maintenance. Still River Greenway extension. I want to spend some time on this one. <laughs> yep. It's your floor. All right. <laughs> well, so this has the feeling to me, what we call at work, Gill Creek. I'm sorry. Deal creep, mm -hmm. kind of frog, frog, frog in the boiling water. Mm -hmm. That that's, you know, it, it started out as one thing, then it changed and it changed and it changed. 
take a step back and it's really something that you would have done if it were what it looked like today. So my question is, if this were a $183,000 project when you first looked at it, when you thought it was going to be really zero cost to the town or close to it, is it something that we would have pushed for? I think yes. And I'll tell you what. We need ADA accessibility to the lower fields. That, that this gives us that. We need accessibility to that parking lot for the Still River Greenway. And believe it or not, people do not want to park at Town Hall. And you want me to walk across the grass to take a walk? They want to walk on asphalt. So we'd get a lot more people walking on it. Um, at some point, I think the town would want to extend the Greenway to include the Town Hall campus as part of the Greenway. And if we, we have a grant for $207,000 now. So we're paying for more than half of it. And remember, we did a preliminary design two and a half years ago to apply for the grant, but we did it very, very quickly. And we hired Freeman to do it, but that was their first cut at it, and it was the cheapest way to go, which runs right by the fields. So what we were afraid of is that people would be sitting on the greenway watching games, and people couldn't walk past them. So it has progressed, it has changed. Um, I still think it's a worthwhile project. I think it's something that people would use. So this path, the, explain to me where the path is going. I mean, it's going from <coughs> the parking lot, past the parking lot mm -hmm. at the police station, up around the police station, and then up across the hill here, right? And then it's also going to fix the stairs. We took those out as a project. The Parks and Rec had for $28,000. You know the stairs going down? We would fix that with this project. That's twenty eight thousand we're so not gonna spend. Going down the man shell, those stairs? Yeah. The, the ones one, that go to the baseball field and to the man Yeah. Those those well, that was a request from Parks and Rec. Again, so that's where the greenway that thing is gonna, gonna go through there. So right. I'm, yeah. I don't see this as a greenway project. I see this as a Cadigan Town Hall project. I'm not Cadigan. I see this as a town hall project. How does this from because it connects the greenway, it extends the greenway. The and when you apply for the grant, you don't want to say this is my town hall driver. You want to say it's a Still River Greenway extension. It's a very steep hill to do it. Well, that's a problem. So you have to be careful. We've got to make sure it's ADA compliant, and that drives a lot of the where it goes. In, in fairness to Dan's point, yeah. no. let's circle back. <coughs> now that we've bought this property over here, which we do call whatever prop, mm -hmm. campus yeah. property for lack so of a where we're going to talk about moving parking lots and doing things with the current police station. <coughs> is that still a priority need with this new thing that's come in? Because I hear what you're saying, the ADAs, and I see there's other benefits, so I'm not blind to yeah. what you're saying. But they'll but be able to come up right through where the police station is. Will we be able to use the, in the year from now, two years from now, the police station parking lot as, not two years. I don't know the many years, I'm just, yeah. so. Yeah. Would that be a more viable solution for this money? Or would we be wanting to having to spend more money to attach it or redo It's it hard to tell what we're going to do in the future. The, the police the police and the library both want to go directly behind town. My preference is, is to extend the police station where it is into the Grimes property, into 43. Right? I think it would be less expensive than building a whole brand new police station. Right. Right? Because um, then so that thought process, if I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, was we would take over this half of the police parking because they would park right. farther up on the... We might be able to take the lower parking lot of the I police meant. station yes. to make it for the still room. But that's room. what you talked about right. a month, yeah. 12 months ago, yeah. whatever it is, right? Given, I'll tell you, given the popularity of the Greenway, uh, it's, today it was literally packed. I, so I think... I know, agree that the, the Greenway has been a complete success and, yeah. and anything that is greenway related should be supported i completely agree i'm a user can I, I don't see this as can being I make, anything to make do with a the comment on this <clears throat> steve you'll have to help me out on the address of fran uh the property they want to build the, the driveway is going to cross the greenway right down down in uh, uh where they want to build the uh old i don't want the whole old person's home assisted living home. assisted living home thank you <clears throat> they're giving us a certain amount of spots for town parking, for greenway parking there. I mean, we're putting the supermarket at the north yes. end of the greenway? Yeah. Yeah, they're going to give us 36 so we're going spots. To get 36 spots. 36. And if people are going to use more than that, yes. also. 
Yes. Um, so I'm just saying that there is a short-ish term solution coming up where there will be some more parking for the people as well. That's true. If you turn this down, we're not going to be able to do the project. How long is the grant available to us? Uh, I don't know the exact time frame. They're usually pretty good about it. Probably another year, and then they'll say either you know move move with this or mm -hmm. don't. They're not going to get leave it forever. I mean, I, I understand the ADA compliance bit of it. Um, I mean, I, I, even yeah. just for soccer games, I know of families that have had to ask ahead of time how they can access the field so that family members can come watch games. Um, and that's probably one of the easier, the upper, upper um, the worst field is probably one of the easier right. ones to get to. <clears throat> I know that the town concerts are mm -hmm. well attended, but usually the, those folks sit up at the top of the hill and watch. Um, yeah. But yeah. I, I also worry about you know, the, the cost of it where if we are going to have the additional parking down on the town center district. Um, yeah. The only other thing to consider, and I'm not trying to use this mm -hmm. as a pressure point, the ADA commission people were in here two years ago, and we are under mandate to continually improve our ADA accessibility. And they watch and see what we you are do. The library. Just we're doing library. library. We're doing a library. We're going to be fixing the sidewalks here, which right. would help. That'll help a little bit. I don't know if that would if, really qualify. And uh, the winding path is not, is not sufficient? Line. The winding path that gets down to the playground isn't sufficient? Playground? No, it's too steep. Is it? For ADA it's compliance. tough to get down. So there's a tough yeah, windy path. Yeah, yeah, no, I am just asking. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, I mean it's a small factor, many, many but the state can. I, I haven't seen them do this. They can come in and start beating you up if you don't have some improvements. So to, to, to just summarize this whole thing, and I appreciate Dan saying this, is this a bang your fist on the table thing that you absolutely need right now, or can we put this to next year and see <coughs> where we stand going forward on other projects? I think we can put this to next year. Okay. okay. I think that the, I, if it was a bang your fist on the table moment, bang, we could talk it's, more. It's not, if it's not a bang your fist on the moment, it's a really I would like to have we'll it. Understand. I don't want to lose two hundred and seven grand. No, 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 last year I to do it. But, but Dan, does that suffice for you? That's fine. I appreciate mm -hmm. it. Thank you. <coughs> Everybody, I mean, yep. Okay. okay. All right, the uh, rest of the thing in this group are the, let's see, the Cadigan turf field deep cleaning. I think that's definitely going to need to be cleaned after this. Yeah, that we should might be cleaned twice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the SRG patch repair and tree work. The green way, yeah. We need to repair that already and patch yeah. it? Uh, you need to maintain <coughs> it yeah, and patch it. And there are trees that we think are we should patch little. We keep it good. We should Absolutely. keep it. We should, we we should, should keep use, it. Like let's all the tree mm -hmm. and it's useful. See, I'd rather put money there. Exactly. And even mm -hmm. if you had to increase that line item to do yeah. other things with the green, I think that's what Dan was going mm -hmm. to, too. Instead of a, a walkway to get from a parking lot to the thing, we'd rather increase the enhance yeah. the, yep. the experience. Yep. Right? What's, what's the asterisk waiting for Town Beach Dock? Yep. Um, um, she was waiting to see if the price was going to change, uh, but I don't have any new information. We talked on that. about that last night, remember? The only yep. one person does the dock movements. Yep. Yeah, it's, that was last night's meeting. That's replacing the name. Oh, right. I apologize. Yeah. I apologize. Yeah. I apologize. Yeah. I'm wrong. And I it's apologize. a number 19 on the list. I would take that out. We have, if I remember what Mary told the Board of Selectmen, we, with the docks we have right now, people are almost having to step into water to get on the docks. Those docks were in previous budgets to be replaced. I don't know why it doesn't show a short. Sure. All right, leave it for a talk item. How's leave that? Let's leave it for a talk. He, Steve made a point. He, we pushed him and he came back a little. So let's. What's the? Oh, sorry, no, what? What's the walking trail? That's next. Yeah, yeah that's so why I wouldn't. So Cadigan walking trail. I'm not a user of that. So yeah, I think it there. runs that around the softball field. I, I can completely attest to that needing some help. It does. It does. But that's just gravel. It's we're, just gravel. We're yeah. We're keeping it gravel. But it need, it for twenty-four thousand dollars. That's what it is. Probably not too cheap. It's probably it's pretty. It's it goes, it goes around two. Yeah, it goes around two fields. Oh. It goes all around the park. I, I know where it goes. It okay. goes all around the park. Yeah. Go ahead. Speak. My yeah. preference would be to asphalt it. Then We're not doing that for twenty three or four thousand dollars. It'd be great to be a nice rubber surface so people could jog on it. But yeah. it's not neither here nor there. I agree. It needs to be <coughs> um, addressed. You get two loads of gravel, and I could bring my tractor up there in a weekend and have that thing done. That is, it, it's maybe. So you volunteering? Three thousand dollars <laughs> worth of gravel. That sounds like to me. 
I mean, where, so where, I don't know where, where do we get the numbers from? Yeah, that's the question. Yeah. Yeah. If anyone else, sorry, if uh, anyone else is in back parking lot, so uh, that has um, repairing what? the back parking lot at Cadigan, grade spread process, repair half mile walking trail around the park, rolling and packing. Right, so, so it's more than just the walk okay. okay. yeah, They're doing that back park in the park. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Oh, it, okay. It's a, yeah, it, it is. Yeah. Yeah. The way I see it is if someone's that strong on our yes. board and knows it intimately, yeah. we got to yeah. go with yeah. the intimacy. And, and that's a, that, thanks for looking at that because the right. back parking lot makes sense both from what mm -hmm. needs to be done and justifies the cost. And we don't just guess. Yeah, and, 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 and they said for future costs that no funds have been allocated for maintenance and oh. it's, it's been dissipated. Eileen, if you're intimate here. with it and you feel that strong, we leave it in. That's how we work. I right? feel, yeah, no, I see a lot of people using it, and I think it's, it's definitely an investment of work on it. And a lot of people use it. A lot of moms use it. Yep. Kids are playing sports. Yep. They have their little ones. Yep. <laughs> All right, the gazebo. <coughs> Gazebo. That gazebo is a nightmare. That gazebo is yeah, but it's been since we put it in in '92. They're '91 I mean, or whatever. Like so can't can a can a group of old townies go and fix that thing? Where's go? I know. That's yeah, the other. Is it fixable? Is. I don't know. What yeah. happens to the revenue for people who have to rent that out for the parties? No, 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 no. no, no, no. This, no. Is, no. this is the one in the walkway. It's in the woods. It's like the haunted cottage. That gazebo reminds me of something out of Bush Witch Project. So nobody's used it yet. So it's business association. Uh, Mary had forgotten this. Donated three thousand oh, dollars to repair that. Oh. So that's why I took the three thousand out. Oh, I um, see. We either have to take um, it down or repair it because it looks like if, one or the other. I agree if, wholeheartedly. If the, if the downtown <laughs> people have put three thousand dollars into it, I'm not third. You know yeah. what? If people are putting their money, I'd like to this. see it be rebuilt, <coughs> or repaired. To be honest with you, because I think it'd be a nice place for people to hang out. Yeah, yeah. it's a cool spot in the middle of the lodge. Sit and just yeah. chill out. Either way, if you have kids run up there. It could be too dangerous to just yeah. leave it. It's, it's either got to get fixed or torn out, yeah. and if we want to, I think it'd be a nice addition. I I'd sort of like it out there. Um, I emailed Mary to see if she was listening. She was listening last night, um, so she already had my questions. Do you want her to call in to help no. with some of these questions? I don't think so you far, really. So far, we're good. good. Okay. If she could be, I mean, maybe on standby, but so well, far, we're good. The only thing is the town dock, I think. That's yeah. the only thing we need a little clarification mm -hmm. on. But let's come back to that because it. Mm -hmm. I think we have a number that we're looking at, and we don't know where we are right now, totally. We're at 121.5 <coughs> cash so far. We're leaving so it. Did you guys, okay. but you had a, a number of mine where you want to be. Back, the 20 20 in the binder? Not there. I know. Yeah. That's what, uh, I have looked at that stuff, but I like to hear things from people, too. So. Yeah, yeah, no, I just, I didn't know if that had been reviewed, if I missed you guys reviewing it, because it was, damn it, it was broke during the 2019 season, and the swim team uses it. Um, and so, so, but yeah, Mary can provide some additional information. We haven't taken it out, so a, that makes more right. sense, though. Yeah, some further explanation in the binder. Thank you. We'll make a call. All right, let's go. All right, here. turf replacement. We have two sixty-five net one twenty-seven for one thirty-eight. Got to be done, right? Not net one twenty-seven. No, well, one twenty-seven. Finance, well, finance from reserves. Right. So. Netting out 127. So we, we think we're going to be about 530 to replace Maybe. the field. Mm. Right. We already have 127. Right. We'd we'll like to put 265 in this year. Two, six, I, I think we can get one more year before yep. we have to do a 60, 70, $80,000 repair to get another three years out of it. So I think we should put half in this year. And then we'll have a very I, easy number for next year. I'd like to do that, but that's something that I might, if we come down to it, I might say that I'm, you know, we might need to relook at putting maybe 200 in or some slightly less number. We could do that, but I'm not doing it right now. I'm yep. just saying I want to. What I'd like to do at worst is make it so next year yeah. isn't a huge. Number. Exactly. That's what this exactly. exercise is for. But right, right now we'll leave it at your number. Okay. Yeah. Let's see where well, we Dan are. Have Dan, Dan marked it down as a comeback. Yeah. Yep. All right. And then go ahead. What? Oh, just oh, yeah, reading on that. The outfield drainage. Right. High school. They wanted yep. 85, and you guys had. Yep, tell us, don't, yep. It's 261. Yeah, the so department yeah. wanted 85 in the first Yeah, but then they there. actually went out and got bids. We're going to do both fields. How about that? We're going to do both oh, fields. Here, here's where we get the rub here. We're losing a 90 foot field at Huckleberry in 2023. No, 2022. Um, we'll only have one field available, which is the high school. Uh, I don't know if you've ever played there or coached there, kids. Yeah, but you're getting us another field. Yes, I am. And well, then he's we will take this out. 
if we get, we're going to get another field, hopefully, and get Iroquois to pay for it. And I also asked them to pay for this, too. He did say that. So, okay. okay. So, so if we leave we're it, bond it bond Yes. Well, financing. Yeah, financing. We have, we have no guarantee that they'll do that. We're pushing hard. When we just we don't know? have to finance they're it if, open. if we know they're right. Yeah, okay. When we, yeah, okay. So okay. if they do it, we just take this out of our right. financing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. So wait, before we <coughs> time out, so we have this like agreement like in place, which I agree with, but we are going to have like a time limit of like we're going to wait until six months or something and we're not going to pull this trigger until we get a full definite answer. No, we need to do this. Well, so well, I'm just saying we, we need this field for next spring. I, I agree, but at what point when the Iroquois comes to us six months down the road and no, says no, they're no, going to no. do it? It'll yeah. be earlier than that because if they want to start their project, Steve's making the deal. They got to do this, and we have to have the commitment. And That's what I'm saying. I mean, no, I, no, no. I cannot stop them from doing their. No, I, you're right. You're right. asked. You're, you're negotiating. We have with a big them. ask with them. Right. Right. They seem very open. To our suggestion to help us out, right? I cannot. But the point is, it would be immediate. I just, w I want to understand this. the process of getting to that decision point. Right? <coughs> How long are you going to talk to the Iroquois and have them say, "Well, we're looking at it, we're looking at it," before we pull the trigger to spend the town money? I think my guess. It's a guess. I'm, it's is somewhere between six and twelve months. That's not going to help us. Because so, we, we so need that. That's why I asked the question. So it's we really need field in the spring. So how are we getting the money back from, where will the money go back from Iroquois if they say, sure, no problem, and we've already done this and finance We spent it. the money, we just, we take the money in, we got to wash. Right? Oh, and then you just, okay. We put the money in capital non-recurring, we replenish well, we it with do the money it, they're from. they're not going to give us the money for it because they would do it with their contractors for cheaper than what we, we would charge them for the problem. I don't think Iroquois is interested in doing that. They just want to make contribution. Okay. I don't see that puts a twist there. They're this in thing. the gas. That's why I asked the question. Yeah, 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 fair enough. And I don't think they want to bring their backhoes and stuff. That's not their expertise. Okay. So we a huge corporation. Than I do. Decide as a group to leave it in with the chance we're going to get reimbursed, but the chance we're not. Steve's working hard. I'm not belittling that. The way I would but put it, it, we need to do the field. It would be a bluebird flying through the window if Iroquois pays for it. But we should fully expect to pay for it ourselves. See, that changes the, the point, right? I'm still okay with doing it, but it changes what we were all thinking. How's that? Let's get it written down on Dan's notes. I think we come back to it and see what we're at the end. So the plus is if we do it this fall, we'll get much more use out of that field next year, especially when it rains, out of both fields, actually, because those fields, if it really rains, we'll lose that baseball field for two, three days. If we do the drainage, one day we have the field back. And then next fall, I want to put in the field at Wiskineer. Mm -hmm. And we should have an answer by Iroquois to one give us the land or give us an easement on the land and whether they'll pay for it. My guess is they're going to, this is my guess, they'll come back to us and say, okay, we'll do the field that abuts our property. That makes sense. We don't want to do your drainage. That's my guess. I asked for 500, it's about 520,000. Either way, it's a good for us. We're Even if they give us the easement. Yep. So All right. <coughs> I'm leaving it in, it in at this point. Keep it in. All right. Uh, 225 to deep clean <coughs> the high school stadium. I'll leave them out. The field. Yep. Yeah. You've got to clean it up. Absolutely. Uh, 15. Tennis courts have to stay that, in. Yep. yep. That's dangerous. Is, is, that, yep. is that field the same size as the Cadigan? Because Cadigan came in at 8,000 and this is 22. This is for two fields. Okay. It's both fields, the back field and the front field, the main stadium field. And there's repairs on this, too. Yes, and uh, there's some repairs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right, tennis court, both the, the reserve right. and yeah, the... Yeah, we pushed yeah, them off. I absolutely. Agree. need to do that. Uh, well, we only funded, we funded 50000 towards the reserve last year. Right. We right. Could, I mean, if we're going to spend 25000 on a repair, we could still put in... Fifty thousand into the reserve this year. We're putting a hundred thousand in right, right now. We're putting a hundred, but we can cut it in half. Let's see where we go. That's okay. You can put that as a highlight. I think you all got to have a number that you're thinking about where you want to be. Well, we're talking these fields of five to six hundred thousand dollars to do the tennis courts. Right. So, and those courts are. There's going to come a point we can't crack sale them or replace them. I agree. Yep. That's, that was my thinking. 
No, I, I think we're on board with your thing. I think, like I said, they want to see where we end up and go back and revisit. That's all. Okay. Uh, track repair for $25,000, patch and resurface areas. So if you remember when we uh, redid the high school, the contractor came in and dug next to the track and destroyed it. it the track had to be completely replaced, and it did not need to be replaced. I mean, it was a big fight. My wife and I's committee, we donated 17 grand. The town put in like 60 grand, and the contractor put in 120 or something like that to rebuild that entire track. This is going to, we're getting to the point where the track sides get undermined, and when that surface of that track gets broken, it's not really fixable. It's one contiguous okay. thing. Center playground mulch. I'm not touching that one this year. This is three to put it up. Brian, this is three. This time, not kindergarten. <laughs> um, is that just so the mulch stays in the in the playground better? Yeah, they're going to put new wood in around to keep it in. They're going to level it it's out. Number fourteen. Some, can that wait a year? And they're going to well, they've asked they for it last year and the year before. <laughs> it's not I don't a, have it listed. It, but we have. Dad knows. Yeah, we talked about it. Was. it. Was. We did it last year. I got overruled. <coughs> did we do it? Yeah. No, two years ago I thought. Was it two, I think two years ago? We didn't do it. We got pictures. We're doing it again. Got pictures from Karen. I think it was the kindergarten. So I'm looking back at last year's classroom. You voted no? Yeah. Last year? yeah. You voted no anything to do with high school. Playground. Last year was the, it was the last year we put in for the kindergarten playground drainage and the first grade playground slide. Okay. Right. Uh, we didn't do we, we didn't do uh, drainage that so wasn't in last year's. Well, it could so have been in last year's. I'm looking at what we actually. I guess more importantly to me. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I thought you were done. Go ahead, no, you're good. I think more importantly to me is how much longer is center school going to be there that we need retainage to keep the mulch in when in two years or three years it's not going to be there anymore as, a, as an elementary school. Oh, no, it's not going to be an elementary school. It could still be a playground. It could, but you, now you've got the kindergarten playground there. You're also going to have a first grade playground. I'm just not sure that to put $17,000 into it out of cash. Is this retention or is this mulch? It says re mulch it's retention. Both. So you want to changing the leveling so the mulch doesn't right. wash away every year. They're doing some landscaping to get it to retain so its spot. Upgrading from what we've had for however many years that place is, that playground has been there, which is at least mm -hmm. ten, to upgrade it when there's two or three years left to the school, doesn't make sense to me. If you make if if the committee comes back to us and says, and I'm just putting this out there, says, hey, you know what we think this school should be repurposed as a community center, a playground would be a good thing to have. It's already happened. Then I have the kindergarten playground. Yeah. You think they're going to want the space to have two playgrounds there? No. I can't imagine anything that's going to be used there that you need two playgrounds. And we'll build in the most to the big project of refurbishing it. <laughs> yeah. And you build it in then anyways when you're trying to get grants for your center. Okay. That's my... I mean, they're, they're, they also mentioned new curbing, so yeah. I would think that that's more of the majority of the cost than the yeah. wooden so borders. Keep the stuff in. But again, I don't know. I, I kind of agree. I don't know if that's really a high priority. We beat up the library, not putting stuff in the library when they had a potential to build a new library that got shot down. We know center school is not going to be center school for much longer. Well, Ricky, you haven't weighed in. My concern is that there's still going to be a year of use on that playground, and I don't know the safety hazard but that it might be. But it's been this way for two, ten years. It's going to be two years. More. Years. I, I, I honestly don't. I just I, I have a unanswered question yeah. of I don't know if it's, if so it's a I'm hazardous issue. Yeah. So last year they said yeah. that, the, that the it's the number fourteen. The it's number fourteen on uh, his list. Uh, I, I'm gonna I'm okay with putting it off. Yep. If Eileen, you're okay. I know Ricky, you're sort of on the fence. I'm on the fence, but Steve just said he's not married to it all the way either. Brianna, I'm kind of on the fence. Like that I could go either way. Really honestly, just everybody brings up. Why don't you put a question mark, run through the numbers, see where you end up, and then go back. All right, perfect. Yeah, I don't mind. Um, I, I'm okay taking it I mean, it, it, I'm okay if it's just it. adding more mulch, we've done that before, instead of doing the mulch retention. Yeah. Um, it wouldn't be so. You know, is that something we can get, you know, find out? Right. Well, it's a couple thousand mulch. Maybe it's just add. It's not more than a couple thousand. I mean, Maybe that's not, I mean, $20 a yard. Mulch and yep. Take out 15. Yeah. Yeah. Well. I do the same thing at my house. I'm stupid. 
<laughs> and, and I got a, the next item. I feel the same way on a Huckleberry Hill swing replacement. We're doing a whole new school. Uh, that's a number 15 on their list. To me, it, if it's a 15 out of 23, it's not a very high priority item. And also, I think in the school budget, and I thought about this this weekend, I woke up about 2 o'clock in the morning. Sorry. They're probably going to put some equipment in as part of the new school. And it won't be where this is. So it's two years use. Right. And they're probably going to redesign the whole thing. Right. Okay. So the only thing Both I'll say on that is, the only thing I'll say, and I'll have an argument, is, is it fair to the kids that are at Huckleberry School yeah. now that aren't going to be yeah. there when the new school is there? Is it work? The swing there works. My kids use it. All the time. I don't know enough about it. I'm just saying. I mean, there, are two, there are two bays. Is it both? There's I mean, two bays. One an issue. There's significant resting, is the comment. And, and I guess my, my other. So we're, we're saying that it's a 15, but actually, Cadigan Walking Trail Service is a 20, and the Town Beach Dock is a 19. Understood. So if we're going by the order overall, then maybe that's a higher priority. Then that's a higher priority than the walking trail around Cadigan. Highlight it. We'll go back to it. Yep. Highlight it. We'll go back to it. I want to go back to it. I'm sorry, but I, I know it's fine. That, that's this, this, I gotta be honest. This is <laughs> yeah. the part of the job I hate the most. This section here. I hate this section. Because it's cut. Because because they're all <laughs> things that we'd love to do. Right. Mm -hmm. I really. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. All right. High school. Plumbing and fixtures, 164,104. It's a very specific number for bonding. Sure <laughs> Almost makes you feel more comfortable. With it, it does. <laughs> Actually, I've got it The four. Did it. The four. four. Just the like one the window. It's a number one on their priority yep. list. Yeah. So let's be clear. Yep. So I mean, you know. And we cut it last year. Mm -hmm. yep. <coughs> I'm going to go to the next line instead. Uh, here I'm we go. working on that next line myself. Here we go. Go for it. No, I so took, I took the. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, if you, you want, want to take to the next slide and lead us? Yeah, go I ahead. took the outdoor lighting out. Oh. It's one quarter of what they want because I'd like to look at what like what we're doing here with the town Absolutely. first before we do anything. And I think those lights can last one more year Absolutely. until we know. Hey, can we get the loan from EverSource and do it through the bill? I'd like to look at that and do the whole high school project as one. Cool. I'd I'm not like having it. Nope. No, I agree. Yeah. We were going on to the next slide. We may not be, you know, the outside yeah. lighting, they may say, no, no, you got to get all new poles. But yeah. No, you're doing a whole lighting, lighting project. You right. talk about that yeah. right for the yeah. whole town. So, so I'm on board. Now we're on to the locker room. The locker room. I, I took the challenge and took the tour of the locker room. I, I will it. say it one last time. Brianna took it, took it with me. With me. Took the Sue Slater took it with us. Um, and we got halfway into the men's locker room and I asked the question where is the bad part and Sue said yeah we're, when do we get to the bad part and Mark Alanda said no we're in it. It needs some paint. I understand the, the showers don't work and I actually last year did the same exact shower replacement job at, at uh, uh, Westcom. Um, what they're asking to do that they don't have firm quotes and now they think it's going to be over a million dollars not the 605 they're taking down a load bearing. When you go and you ask an architect to <coughs> give me, you know, and you tell them what your concept is, because you don't necessarily know what the cost is going to be, they're going to design what you ask for. To take down a 90 foot, 30 foot high, 90 foot, 100 foot long load bearing wall to gain four more feet of space for hundreds of thousands of dollars, and then they want to they want to annex this little part of the locker room and make that, um, you know, for the treadmills or whatever. Well, it's got a set of double doors that go into it, but they want to take down the load-bearing wall so people don't have to walk through the double doors to get... There's just a lot of things in it to me that tell me it hasn't been value-engineered properly. So, I understand we, we need showers at work. The big complaint, one of the big complaints is that the visiting football team uses the girls' locker room. Well, we've been doing that forever. I don't know any school that doesn't do that still. Um, and it's a morale booster for us. It, well, exactly. It's, it's exactly what it is. Uh, there, there's the, right now the two teams when they play basketball on the two sides of the locker room. The comment was the coaches have to watch what they say because they don't want the other team to hear. And I said, why don't they put a door in the doorway we're standing in? And he goes, <laughs> oh, because they couldn't find a door to fit. I, and you want six hundred and five thousand dollars and probably one point two, one point three, and on up. I'm really struggling with. So I agree we need something in there because so they need to do the showers. They <coughs> go back and rethink this? Right. 
I, I, think, I agree with the need for showers. That that that's a big deal. You you got to have the ability. And it needs to, to, it, to, it, to having it painted really to be nice and bright. No underground. Um, Agree. all of that. So can I ask this? We do need bathroom facilities um, for, um, for games, particularly Friday nights. Take some of that money and go to the design of outside. Give them the money for the design of the outside bathrooms. A hundred. And they're looking for. And, and oh, they and they need an exhaust fan. They, they don't have the exhaast fan running over the showers. So the shower drains dry, dry out, so all the sewer gas well, comes up. Yeah. Yeah. It's like just we need some general maintenance and some, some or some pour some water down the drain. Or pour we yeah. pour vegetable oil and it stays for a year and a half. Yeah. And then to seal the traps. And then could we could we figure out some some showers? I, I just think it would be a nice. I, I mean that that's just gotta have. You gotta just, have showers. And like you know, I, I don't want. I don't like throwing darts in, in, in the blind. We need some outdoor right. bathroom. A study for some outdoor bathrooms. We know we need showers. We need an exhaust fan. But maybe get the. I'm right just going to struggle to give them six hundred thousand dollars. I yeah. can give them three hundred, and they can get some stuff done and a better study. But I can't give six hundred when we already know they've already told us it's going to be over a million. But the 300 is based on what I know. That's what I said. I'm I, know, I hate the throwing the dart. I know. But we right. we know the outdoor bathrooms are going to be a substantial amount of money. Yep. Yes. Uh, so yeah, I mean that study that around. study has been sourced and, and and we know that the cost of that. Yeah, that's it from their architect what they think yeah. the design would be. Right. Was 100 okay. change? That's we would go out. Is that the yeah. 110? Right. That's the one that right. we took that's out. That's the next right? line that we took okay. out. Okay. So um, reality is. But you could put that. You, I'm com kind of combining those things into one thing. You need showers. Do you need a, is a hundred grand gonna gonna replace the shower? It's a, they're three grand shower modules. You can still buy them from Bradley. They're a stainless steel that takes a day to put one in per guy. I do it all the time. I've done it often. Um, so there's a number you can put it in that. It's not a hundred thousand dollars to get a couple of showers worth. It's not a dart number. Mm -hmm. No, no, it's not, no, we have an expert. No, 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 we have an expert. It's not a dart number if you break it down. The project right. could be one point two million dollars. Mm -hmm. They're asking for a stage payment anyway of six oh five. So the three hundred thousand could be part of a stage payment to meet the bigger goal. Right. Right. We all realize but it would get them maybe, showers. Right. Yeah. But we all realize it, it may yeah. cost more than three hundred thousand. But we don't know the extra mm -hmm. costs, right? So this is like a stage payment that we're agreeing to to get us to the next stage to understand the scope. So of the you're work. saying we would go back to them and say, scope this down. According from what you said, Mark. Yeah, well, right. do their, the their, their immediate do the needs that they told to us do was a shower, exhaust fans. Right. They right. wanted to paint it, which I agree with. It's, yeah. dumb, it's dreary. Yeah. Which, it's dreary. Yeah. If you want to paint it, paint it. Exhaust fan shower is going to go a long way. Yeah. They will give them 300000 to get to that stage. That they and can that also should give them the They can prick their priorities of bathroom showers, what right. they need, right? Which. And if they could fit the study in under that three hundred thousand, or and get a study for the outside bathrooms, we can authorize that. Would, would right? that is the one ten that the line item below it? Is That's what I'm saying. I mean, if That's they had asking. enough left over to do, if they budgeted properly and had, or enough do you want to go to three fifty and give them a little more? I mean, well, so this so is the town capital budget. Are they allowed to use three hundred of one for a hundred of another? What I would be more well, comfortable doing is putting boys bathroom renovation slash outdoor yeah design. we can combine okay combine, combine them into one so, uh, i don't like to use that. boys yeah, locker right. slash it's short door restaurant creep, yep. creep there exactly that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but that gives them the freedom to if they don't want to do the design of the outdoor restroom at all and, well, and they came it, up with that they really needed three hundred thousand dollars got them to right. build they, that wall I'm so okay they could have that their yeah, yeah, they yeah, really that's came right, up with three hundred thousand of true needs to get the showers working the, the drainage problem we don't know the number mark i know is expert but until we dig up or do something we don't know exactly i mean i'm okay with the, the bathrooms mm -hmm. and if there's no money left for design we look at it again next year exactly mm -hmm. but may, okay? put the line so it could be both yeah um, no, that, don't say yeah. That's fine. <laughs> say what you want to say. No, 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 no. I, no, I, I know. I think it's. I, I think I agree that there's not enough. The the lack of renovation is a little bit too unknown. Um, but the design of the outdoor restrooms and having gone to some games, I, I can see the need and it's been in the. Well, I think uh, the need is there. Up for a couple years, so I'm okay with that. That's a town I event football game, not yeah, just it. high school. Yeah. There's yeah. everything else. It's a town event. Well, but it went right. from 1.2 million down to 605, which means we really don't know. And then they told us it's going to go back up. So. But I agree. I, the, <coughs> what number you want to put? 300? Like Dan said, the nomenclature Steve said for 
immediate needs yep. and uh, uh, for bathroom, ADA study. For boys locker room and outdoor restroom study. Yeah, I'm okay with 300. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. All right. I'm okay with the last two items. What's the so exterior windows and doors, security film? So I put, because I was trying to stay within the model, half the security film this year, half next year. What's the security film? They put a film across the glass, ah, and it's it, it's, it keeps the glass from shattering, yeah. makes it much harder for an intruder to try to get in, even if they shoot a hole through the glass. I mean, it's a sad event, but I think it's probably yeah, not going to get into it. <laughs> Could, could we put the whole bit in if we just cut the locker room to half? Yeah. Could you cut the whole thing instead? Can you do it? Are they ready to do it all the the locker room? They would do it in one so, summer. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's not hard. Let's look at that, Eileen. I, I like, like where that. you're going. I like where I'm but going. But let's see where we are okay. without putting it in, and then let's let's, let's well, see if we can. But it's that. a twenty-year bond, so we're just going to take we're taking three hundred and five thousand out of the boys' locker room renovation. We can add another one seventy-three. We're right. still at a net. Exactly. Going, we're still coming down yeah. on the bond. That's right. That's 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 how that works. Yeah. So no, I know. I'm, Rich, just make clarify well, now that you're for talking, the public. No, no, no. But now we're that you're talking, it's a 20-year bond. If you're throwing it in next year, you're really saving a year on freaking the other half. Interests are really low this year if we're going to do these projects. Am I right or not? It <laughs> becomes a 20-year yeah. bond. Okay. So are we, we'll come back to the... If you guys feel strongly you want to add the other 173 on, then do that. I'm not going to fight it. No, I'm just asking, what are we really saving by putting it off next year? I don't know. Half, what are we going to yeah. save? I love the idea of security. Not much, because we're going to ban it until we have enough money to bond. Right. Yeah. We'll do it That's what I'm trying to say. No, we're yeah. probably going to bond. We don't know. We still have to talk to our advisor. But we have the school, so we're probably going to go to bond sooner rather than later. Yeah. I'm just saying it's only delaying the half of it a year. If you pay it half, you're going to pay the other half the next yeah. year anyway. Mm -hmm. All right. Put it in now? Put it yeah. in. Our marsh already did. She's one step ahead of us. Well, I like Dan backing it up. That's the way I think. All right. Uh, middle school. Replace the original. Wait. Is that, yep, that's mm -hmm. right. Replace the electric mm -hmm. service. Mm -hmm. 276. Talk about that. Mm -hmm. Just to, since we're here. Yeah. They've asked us before. It's been on the list before. I don't know why it hasn't checked off. Um, I've seen. Remember the pictures two years ago for the electrical service? That both, we need to maintain the school. It, we're going to keep it for a long time, and both of these, I asked the question, why are these exactly the same number? Because it was originally one project, and they split it out, and this is the number one desire, and I think we should do it. I agree. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. All right, where do we stand? Mm -hmm. So we have cut 314,853 mm -hmm. out of bonding and 138,500 out of cash. And we have a number of items to go back. Go back to you want to want to want to. Well, let's talk about the no, 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 time out. Okay. Let's talk about where you want. Where you've done enough study this. Where did you want to land? I had two fifty in my head. Two fifty in what? In, in cash. In cutting cash. So you're one twenty behind. I'm one twenty behind. In yeah. cash. That's what I had in my head. Mm -hmm. And what you have on the bond? Uh, the bond. Uh, I thought I thought that it, I was just going project by project. Right on the bottom. So I didn't have a, I didn't have a number. I wanted to do the right project. Okay, Ricky, you have a number you thought about? Yeah, one ninety-seven cash taken out. Um, so you're not far off at Dan's number. No. And how were you getting to the one ninety-seven in cash? Um, some of the stuff that we have on hold. Okay. We just you know if we revisit, you know that's I think we can at least get to that point. Mark, Jenny. I had in my head uh, on the bond, like Dan, I wanted to go through a line by line. Uh, on the cash, I had a number of 200 because I want to put 100 back into contingency. The only issue is look at the over 10 year plan. Our goal is over the next seven years or so is to pay everything in cash that's less than a million dollars. Mm -hmm. That would be my perfect world. So anything we don't do this year, we're going to have to do next year. So we're slowing that cash process down. Just Unless we, you know, for instance, don't replace and do work at Center School and Huckleberry yeah. that's yeah. coming out in the next couple yeah. of years. Yeah. Just as an example. No, no, that's a, that's a fair yeah, point. Your thought? I was in the 
the, the Bond stuff was line by line for me. I just wanted to listen to it and hear it, but Cash I was like a two, in between two two fifty. I couldn't figure out where I really wanted to be, so I was just looking for everybody else's opinions. Eileen? Yeah, I mean it if cutting on the cash line gives us the opportunity to add more to the contingency, you know, to support potential changes in the education budget next year, I, that's kind of my goal. I didn't have a specific number in mind, um, but I kind of wanted to hear how the conversation was. All right, so then let's circle back to the highlighted uh, areas. Hey, give me right. one second. Dan's list. Give me one second. I'm just doing, doing, doing. Well. Can I speak? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, okay. So <clears throat> the uh, Marshall on the first floor ADA bathroom, because it was 50 grand, did we move that to cash, out of bond to cash in your model? In, in what we just came up with with the new totals? Um, or we talked about no, moving no, it out. Didn't no, actually no, right, right. We have that highlighted in yellow the, um, to talk about moving So it. we still left that as bond, yes. So there's no way I see that we move that to cash, I agree. unfortunately. Right. I agree. That's, my, no, that's where I want to start. Uh, highway garage roof replacement. There's ten grand there potentially. I'm just gonna, can I just yeah. talk about them quick? Are you guys? I, 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 I haven't listed mine. Okay. Yeah, so ahead, that's so just yeah. what I was finishing up. Um, okay. So the first one was fifty-two grand for the town hall sidewalks. Yeah. That's line fifty-eight on your spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. That's fifty-two thousand dollars for the town hall sidewalks. I, I want to. I can list them off. Let's just list them off. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We'll, we'll get All right. We'll, we'll, so we have the town hall sidewalk. Mm -hmm. Two thousand dollars cash. We have the we have uh, ten grand for the highway garage roof replacement. Yep. We have twenty thousand dollars for the materials bin truss and roof replacement. Yep. We have ten thousand dollars for the dock. We have an open amount that uh, for the the turf replacement reserve that we can adjust the amount. Mm -hmm. We have an open amount for the outfield drainage. We have an open amount for the tennis court reserve. We have $25,000 cash for the track repair. I thought that, that you all liked the Did we? Yeah, we did. I okay. so. I, yeah. I have it that yeah. we were good. Okay, fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay, no, I just wrote, okay, crossing that one off, good. Okay, we have $11,000 for for a swing. Mm -hmm. And we have, um, oh, and we doubled it, we, we already did that, so we agreed, to, we agreed to double the bonding on, the, did we agree to double the bonding on the security film? That's well, no, 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 you missed one, though. What did I miss? The uh, grade one, CES grade one playground mulch retention is 17 grand. Was the item before the? Oh, I thought that was. I thought we agreed to take it out. Yeah, we cut that out. That's part of the. Yeah. Where we got we to the 138, yeah. right? The whatever yeah. number. And then we had the. What was that? We were trying to figure out the. If we did the void lock, the 300, and then we were trying to make up for the security film. We put the security we film. Yeah, the security yeah, film. Yeah, that that washed out the the bonding. We got. Yeah, I'm happy with the bond number. I mean, I'd love it to be less bonding, but I'm happy with it. Yeah. Okay. So to me, it's the cash line. All right. So the sidewalk. The garage, the H H S the 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 bin, the dock, the turf, the drainage, the tennis court, and the string. So I'll start. With the if sidewalk. you don't mind, I'd like to back up. I had um, one of the items that had been cut from the board of selection was the AEDs. Um, we gave them half of it last year, um, and I think the intention was to maybe give them some more of it this year. Um, I, there, there are two I things. Uh, they wanted AEDs for their fire vehicles, and we did fund those. These AEDs are for personal vehicles. Some of them are replacement. Um, they're not all just personal mm -hmm. vehicles. Some of them are replacement. Let me just find the notes again on that one. You may be right. Maybe. Um, for the fire department? There, there were nine. That's for EMS, I think. It's under center fire. Yeah, center under fire said fire they were they were they okay with Steve's cuts, so. I can't imagine they were taking them out of out of their rotation of Are you talking about? But let's check. Oh, let's check. Number four for the twenty. That one. Uh, yeah, the twenty thousand. Yeah, the twenty thousand. Okay, so it's so nine four. additional portable automated systems to replace the end of life models in the first responder vehicle. So some are, some are adding, um, but some of them are also 
um, replacing ones that are, you know, have, have exceeded their useful life. So I don't know if... I thought we had already... I know that turns into a cash <coughs> item that doesn't help the goal that you guys have right now, but I, I think last year we only funded half of what they were asking for, and I didn't know if that's something, especially where we know we're only going to be getting more calls with what's going on right now and with the new... The new assisted living coming in is that something we just want, you know, maybe some part of. Um, just a thought. Well, I had it on a different scale. I remember the fire department saying they were okay with Steve's budget, and it was not in Steve's budget. Okay. Yeah. And this is okay. something they would fight hard. Oh, yeah. yeah. I agree. I agree. It's a if it comes to real emergency, <coughs> figure it out. But I agree. All right. Okay. So, thank you. I'll start on the sidewalks. That was the first number, right? Yep, yeah. fifty-two thousand dollars. Since you guys actually ran the meeting and it was awesome because I could sit back and listen a little bit. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, I love it. Uh, Forget about it. I actually love it. That was one of the only items Steve banged his fist on the tables for. I mean, we went through a lot of line items and Steve gave, and I just noticed that was the one that he jumped up one of the most on. That was like for him to run and I would like to try to keep that in just based on the looking and overviewing the room that's just my opinion not anybody else's opinion but sitting back as you guys ran the meeting I was looking and listening and that was one of the only items he really fought in all of these things that we've discussed Fair point. can I ask him a question on yes that? absolutely because we're trying to find some big numbers now that we're yep. paying cash for to get between our numbers and Dan's number you know whatever just as a thought would you rather have that, or would you rather have the full amount uh, for the BHS reserve for tennis courts? The only two big items that we can take money out of. That one, or take half the money out of the tennis courts. Or just take a little off of both. He said, he, I asked him, and he said the sidewalks didn't make sense, but maybe you want to change that. Am I putting you on the spot too much? I, it's like so choosing between ask. your two children. Sophie's choice. Yeah. Steve, uh, I agree. Sophie's it's choice. not meant to put you on the spot. It's no, I know it's not. Um, I think they're both critically important given the condition of the field, the condition of the field. Um, I think I'd be most comfortable probably taking a little off of each. Okay. A little. So, 25 grand? No, like five. All right. Five. <coughs> but they, we, they, realistically, we're going to lose a lot of the other things on our list. But we'll go through well, that. But here's the thing. Again, I, I urge you to look at your 10-year plan. I urge yeah. you to look at your 10-year plan. You cut cash, cut cash, cut cash. We're not going to get to the $5 million a year and stop but borrowing. we're also trying to get to a passable mill. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's a hard thing. And, it's, it's and, a and trying and so to build up contingency. And yeah. I also did right. say at the beginning that if we didn't use up the contingency, if the special ed didn't need it or the schools didn't need it for whatever and the town didn't need it, that some of these projects could get potentially you know, refunded or fully funded. You know, if, if you really feel strongly that you need to take 25 off of each, okay, I'll live with that. But I... What was the second one? I'm sorry. Uh, tennis court reserve. Yeah. I, don't, I don't like taking I money out of reserve either, but I'm just, it off of I'm just going through what we have left. We can get 10 grand for the highway okay. roof. Okay, hold on. Time on. Let's rewind. 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 Marcia, where do we stand on this year's revenues? This current budget. Where do we stand? The 20 budget, we are very good on, on this year's revenues, uh, depending on what we have to do with special ed, should that still be an issue. Special ed's 208, right? I mean, and it might get less, but 208. If we were to give special ed 208 right now, could we do those sidewalks? <coughs> could we do those sidewalks this year? Or could you pick off two? That's not, I'm not gonna stop, because in fairness, we don't know what we're gonna have to spend for this that's true. We are going to be spending. We're spending some money, and we are going to get reimbursed for a lot of it from FEMA, but not all. Of it. Yeah, so that's I don't guaranteed. feel real comfortable. Right. Fair answer. Putting yeah. that I, spot. I, yeah. I accept that. I was just trying to think of how do we alleviate no, with this year's surplus. Yeah. Could we move it to bond it and then wait? No, no, no I don't want to do that either. Of course, that, that just goes against yeah. our our grain. And yeah. If. I just how about this? No, no, how about this? We, we, we take it out of the reserve. I'm talking. I'm not dictating, yeah, yeah. so let me be clear. We take it out of the reserve, but can we fill the reserve if we have money left over this year? Can we tuck it in before the end of the fiscal year? So we get down to June. We get through this coronavirus. <coughs> Instead of giving 300000 back to the general fund, can we backfill the 
the, the, the tennis court reserve? We could make a transfer um, and, uh, in the expenditure budget and transfer money from unexpended line items to transfer to capital. Then it would be there and it would, could be paid out of there and we would just transfer less next year. Uh, we could do that. Um, if we have them. That's an if. Yeah, I agree. The new key would be a wave because we're going to be awful silly if this turns into a pandemic and we we're, we're actually have people out there. Uh, there, there. There's no doubt in my mind, based on the reports I'm getting from the state and from the CDC, this is a pandemic. Yep. We are going to incur quite a few more costs. We're going to go through a really rough period, and it is going to cost us some money. It is. All right. I mean, all right. So there's three. There's there's three big items that are kind of open items. That that we, there's the BHF turf. turf mm -hmm. There's the the outfield drainage, which is two hundred sixty-one thousand dollars, and there's the tennis court reserve. That, that those combined are uh, six hundred and change. But they're not cash, are they? No, they're they're like, no, oh, sh no, the you're, you're right. Is, you're right. I'm so sorry. Not cash. I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. <coughs> well, um, this is only on a small right. city, but if we look at the priority list from the park overall, like you said, yes, to possibly the town dock and the walking trail surface, but a higher priority actually is are the Center School Playground mulch retention, which maybe we cut back to just mulch and not the full retention and the, the replacement swing. Um, <coughs> those are actually a higher priority and a lesser cost cash cost. Yeah, we did that last So if we're going by what they're asking for, you know, I mean, again, it's a smaller number, but yep. you're looking at 33.9 versus um, 28, there's 10,000. Which two are you talking about, Kylie? I'm sorry. Center school small. I was looking at um, the the uh, um, town beach dock replacement. Yep. Um, is priority 19. Uh, that's the ten thousand dollars spent, and yep. then the walking trail, the uh, Cadigan Park walking trail surface is they have in the 20 versus the center school playground mulch retention and the swing replacement that are 14 to 15. I'm gonna. I'll be honest. I'm firmly that's against that's putting money into center school and Huckleberry that are going away. I can yes, oh, I agree with you. Can put we put some couple of in thousand there? dollars in for mulch? Yeah. So don't get rid of the whole right. seventeen. Get rid okay. of fourteen. I'm, I'm up and leave three. Okay. That I'm okay with. Yeah. The others I'm not. I'm I'm perfectly fine with giving less or no money to the Cadigan Park walking trail. Uh, the dock. Steve was talking, or somebody maybe it was even you was talking. It was a swim team yeah. and a safety yeah. issue. Yes. That's a little bit more important as a safety it's issue. More important than then. So I don't fully trust. Not trust, but you know the the numbering system as far as safety may not be. The, yeah, what, the big, it, it's not the biggest at. criteria, so we right. have to make that decision. But the docks are more, much more of a safety issue than the others. So, okay, I'm good with taking out the walking trail surface. I mean, people still use it. it it's, right. At this point, it's like it's the charm of Cadigan. You have that crazy safari of a parking lot to drive through. <laughs> Everyone's got a massive <laughs> SUV when they go to soccer practice. Kind of like I mean, I mean, I'm used to it. Like, I, honestly, it would never, it wouldn't bother me. If so we can get rid. So if we were to get, can somebody track this for us. So let me just free wind it here. Eileen, before we get rid of this catechin, this is something you felt about. I mean. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know that it's a safety issue because it's annoying, but I guess it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a nuisance. But it's, it's wet. When you guys look where you're stepping when you get out of your car. Yeah. Make sure you don't land in a puddle. And, uh, but it's, yeah, I, I don't think. So you're not married to it if we concerns. if we went a different no. direction, huh? No, she said that. no I'm okay. not married. All right. Either. What if we left five grand in? They can get a couple of get that, that, eight bother? loads of gravel. Yeah. Or yeah. Or yeah. Why I'm sort of. I'm it, sort of. Let's just. I'm sort of right. 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 All right. Get, I'm, all right. If you're so going to do it, take it out. If you're going to do it, do it right. All right. So you leave the dock. We get rid of the Cadigan walking trail. We at we took out center school playground mulch retention, but we have to add. Three thousand back in there. We get rid of the Huckleberry swing. From Actually, it, look, time out. If we're going to add the mulch and it comes out of capital, it goes on the operating side of the park's budget. It's not a capital item. Why are we going to track it on a capital list if it becomes a mulch? We can move it over. 
Right? No, I'm serious. I mean, why would you want to track it yeah. as a capital so when the, it's a mulch? The 17's well, gone. All right. But it's going to be the same in our... Sa in our same net budget. number, but this right. is capital and it really becomes a, an operational so supply. the only other right? things... Well, that we do it every year, so yes. The only other things on our list would be the building materials, bin, truss, yep. and roof replace, which Steve said is a safety issue. Yep. So my guess is we want to, I would leave that in. Yep. The only, the last thing. And it's been in for two years. Right. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. And the last thing would be the highway garage roof replacement for ten grand. Uh, and that's just a part of the roof. I mean, it almost makes sense. I mean, I still think you have to do that, even though it's relatively low. So that, where does that get us? It still doesn't get us anywhere near Once without three, touching. Four. I still want to take 25 out for tennis courts, and then if we do have anything at the end of the year. So that would be, right, the tennis courts or the sidewalk is the one we need to get another 20. I mean, we don't have to get right to 200,000. Yep. I know Dan wanted to I want that, but Eileen, I'm, I'm sure, wanted to be less than that. So <laughs> I don't want to put words in your mouth, Eileen. No. I'm sorry. You know, I'd be okay if we made the so if we tennis, court tennis courts down to 75. 75? So we come in at uh, 198, 400? Yep. Oh, look at Ricky over there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so right. that would be we keep the full 52 for the yep. town hall parking lot. Yep. Our sidewalks. Yep. Um, we keep the 10 um, for the. Um, uh, here's a cup. It's Diane that brings the water. Thank you. Sorry, everybody. Sorry. Um, we keep the ten. Mm -hmm. uh, the twenty thousand for the bin trust and roof replacement. We we're leaving that because it's a safety mm -hmm. issue. All right, we keep that. Um, the town beach dock replacement. We keep that. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and the swing replacement we get rid of. Yes. And the mulch we went up. We're going to yeah, throw that up about the center school multiple. Oh, but it's still going to go somewhere. Yeah, yeah, but not in this right. 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 no, I just don't think we should then. track it as a yeah, capital. Right. 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 That's all. It's a tracking process. And the card, uh, the cadigan, the cadigan. We take that yeah, out. That comes out. You didn't do it as I went, did you? Well, I didn't know they were all going to agree. <laughs> and, uh, um, so, what is your bottom line now, uh, Dan? On pay currently, I have. 205 0830 is now. 205 0830. I have the same as her. You do? What's her number? Well they're, well, they're doing that. Yeah. Did you get quotes on your um, repair of your uh, replacement of your sidewalk? Um, yeah, they did. They got, you know, have discussions with contractors. What would it cost? What do you think the range is? They did. Can we get like 2600 bucks out of it? Yeah, well, but I want them to add a couple of uh, conduit underneath the, for possible electric vehicles. We're going to have to put charging stations in. And we've got a grant in for the Volkswagen fund to get a charging station. So it doesn't make sense to put the conduit in so you can yeah, run so that we, right, that, That's not going to be expensive. Like to, yeah, that's a yep. few hundred dollars. Yeah. But I think we should do three or four of them across yeah. just so we have it. Um, so you have paid currently two zero one five nine three zero now. Yes, like your buy. Actually, actually, put two zero eight four hundred. And you have. Um, do you agree on the other the twenty year bonds and the yeah and yeah I'm, I'm, I imagine on all those. Yes. Okay. Yes. We're gonna we've got to change the transfer. So we actually got more than two hundred. We're two over two So over here, does she already have mulch in her budget? Not for this. Okay. No, we'll add three to that. We, we add, add three to this that. before three grand. <coughs> So before we look at the what that did to the mill rate, I would like to talk about adding what we think we want to add back into contingency before mm -hmm. we look at mill rates so we don't get a false sense of I don't think anything over three is not going to be glee for me. <laughs> I mean, 
what were your thoughts? So you my, my thought is, it, it, it was my thought leaving here last night, I wanted to put another $100,000 into the contingency. And it's not enough, but I want to put at least, I, I, I want to put a hundred grand. I'm, I'm still worried about it. I'd be comfortable with that. Well, I'd like to actually put more. Right, but I, in good conscience, don't think I, you know, it's going to be tough to get the budget to pass in this environment at all. We've got to get a budget to look at. And, right, we've got to get something I think that we're all comfortable with. Eileen, does that fit your thought process? I didn't hear the beginning of it. I can't remember that far back. Uh, what I said. Uh, you, you said you wanted it 100000 in the contingency. I said what? You said you wanted the... You wanted it at three? No, 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 no. no, no. no. Steve was making a joke to me that I, I didn't want to look at the because oh. <laughs> I, I didn't want to look at it with glee and see how low the the oh. mill rate was before we put something back in. And anyways, that was a joke. I'm sorry. Gotcha. So okay, it's okay. What I'm saying is I want to put. I think that we should put a hundred thousand dollars back into the town contingency fund more than what Steve had in his budget. So we yeah, just saved yeah, roughly no, two hundred grand. I want to put a hundred back. I, in. Yeah, I kind of thought that part of the exercise of reducing the cash capital was to be able to do that. Right. Yeah. So no. was the so my, Glenn was asking you. I said a hundred thousand. What do you say? Do, do we? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, we don't, we don't know what the numbers are going to come out of next. If we think that we can find savings as we go along to offset any, I mean, I, I, I again, I think it goes back to we've asked. Um, the board of ed to tighten up their budget a lot, and they, we know that things change, and who knows what's going to happen at the end of this year, next year. I mean, hopefully, there ends up being something in um, the non lapsing fund that will help offset. Um, yep. We know that the town side is, is pretty tight and dead on, so I don't see that there's going to be a lot of um, you know extra revenue or anything like that coming in, especially with the way that the economy is looking at the moment. So, you know, where we had some. Some extra um, extra revenues this year. I, I don't know that we would expect that again um, for next year. So, I mean, I, I think 100 is a good start if we could find more. But if we can work within the budget, then I think that's what we have to do. Mm -hmm. Rick, yeah. Ricky, I agree. 100 is a good number. Yep. Yeah. Good Absolutely. Number. Glenn, you guys are doing good. I'll go with 100. That's Steve. Not good. Steve. Yeah. Yeah. So, let's see so what you're it does. saying we add a hundred to me? what the board of selectmen have. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I said, do you agree with me? Uh -uh. Are you agreeing with me on something? I agree with the board. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you have that chair. Why is it? No, I do, <coughs> I do agree with I do agree. We took fifteen thousand out for the because we had a contingency in there. Fifteen thousand because the fire department we didn't have all their figures yet. Um, so that was a reduction. Oh, okay. of so that wasn't our actual adjustment. No. That was just an adjustment part of it. Um, if we had had the numbers earlier, right, right, right. it would have been in the board of selectmen. And then okay. um, twenty five hundred came out last <coughs> night with the select and salary. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. <laughs> the contingency includes the negative contingency for police, right? Um, that's like separate, no. right? In the police. In the police area, so they. Um, that's in the police. Um, right, that's a dead off. Budget. That just is a wash. It's like built into their number. Right. Okay. Okay. So where are we at right now? Let's look at where are we at with the mill rate. Let me did you add the three back into the? Part? I added the three. I added okay. the hundred. Um, the mill rate is thirty point one eight. Okay. What's that as an increase? Mm -hmm. 3.56. So let's go on to the next thing before we summarize. How's that? The next thing is, if everybody agrees, is education. Yep. We've done a lot of talking about education, and, and I'll start the ball rolling. Uh, the word cuts have been used a lot, and I'm not necessarily sure we made cuts to their budget. We made reductions of their adverse risks, contingencies, uh, reduction in actual insurance premium, budgeted to actual. There may be disagreements to get to the 818 number, but I don't think the majority of that money is true cuts. I'm not proposing we make cuts, 
but I'm saying the word cuts, I'm not so sure is a term that we should be throwing around. I think it was 294 reduction in a contingency that we said if there's more students coming in, the town would assume the risk. We're going to pay for the, the children to go to school. We're not, uh, if it was a valid risk, right? I mean, a valid students are here, these are the costs. Right, in the, in the school we would support it. Steve, I'm saying what we've agreed to pretty much as a group, right? I mean, if five students, special ed students need to be outplaced that weren't identified, we, we've got to pay it as a town, we figure it out. Yeah, we, right? So we, just do. we didn't make cuts. What we did is we made reduced risks on their side that they didn't have to cover. The 170 was the insurance differential in the premiums. The salary line, which they're looking at now, was a, a, a historical savings line to remove a risk. So I don't think we really truly made cuts. So I think we're pretty much at a point where they can operate with their programs, because to me, cuts is loss of teachers, cuts is loss of programs, cuts is loss of. So, I think, from my point of view, <coughs> is Steve's budget is where he came in at? I think we don't know the true numbers. We're trying to help out, work together. I think we can leave it at the Steve's budget, and we let the town decide. We're a group of six. We let the town decide. If the town votes it down. We have to come back. If the town approves it, that means it was a number that the town agreed to. Uh, I think that we're, we made good steps in the process. We're, we're going to get better financial reporting. Steve and I discussed that we maybe sit down with them in the summertime of this year to go through what we expect going forward You know, for next year's budget so we can give them expectations and how to report the numbers or how the formats that Marsha and Steve have put forward to better analyze. Uh, I don't know what else to say on it, to be really honest with you. Again, I don't think we made cuts. I think we took risk away and assumed risk on our side. So I'll leave it at that. Mark, we'll go around the table this way. Not <coughs> Mark's work, we'll just go around this way. How's that? So my, I guess my comments would be, Steve, I appreciate what you and Marsha and the Board of Selectmen uh, did to uh, get to where you are. While I would like to see the school less than a 5% increase, I understand the, the need of, of where they are. One thing I want to be ask everyone here to make sure, if the school has savings this year, i.e. not causing any undue panic, but we're planning ahead and we're all thinking ahead. So if the school do not open for the rest of the year, they will save on substitutes. They will save on lunch monitors. I would imagine there'd be a transportation savings. Paris. Par you know, whatever their savings may be, but I would like to think that we would allow them to maintain, retain that money into next year to offset some of these. Awesome. Uh, uh, what term are we using? Because I, I like your idea that it's not a cut, but this rearrangement of risk, the risk, the risk, the risk yep. assessment that they could keep some of that on themselves for next year if they have savings. That being said, I, I'm good with Steve, the board of select and stuff. I would absolutely support that. Um, but I, I think both the board of selectmen and the board of finance, you've always stood up to what you said you were going to do. So if they have $200,000 in savings in the end of the year, we put that aside. And if they have extraordinary expenses next year, it's there for you to use. No big discussions, no, right? Right. No, I put them through the ringer. No, they don't have the answer. They can spend yeah. accordingly. Yeah. I agree. It's my Which opinion. we did I mean, with the non-lapsing last year. I mean, that, that's just my opinion. Dan's next on the table, so let's Sorry. Dan. Did I jump speak. Up? Did I no, you touch up it when you want. I mean, I agree. So fast forwarding to the end, I agree that uh, Steve's number is well thought out and based on the work we've done for the last couple months, well supported. I do acknowledge and that that since I've been on the board, we've made a lot of agreements with different departments in town that if you need this we agree it's going to come we're going to fund reserves we're going to do this we're going to do that so this is another one of those situations where we are accepting that that if there are overruns unanticipated on that line item it's something that we are going to work with them to solve uh, and and i think that that we've lived up to those since i've been on the board with, with, with you and you uh, we've always done that, and and all that. 
Eileen's not here, but I'm pointing to the empty chair. <laughs> um, I would hope that we continue to get the level of detailed reporting and even increased reporting from the Board of Ed on a monthly basis on the two items that were the hot topics this budget season, the teacher line item and the special ed line item. If we can start tracking that from July 1st on, it'll help keep everybody informed on what we need to do as the year goes on. Yep. So I'm good. Ricky, like I said, we're just going in order. It's just around the table. So go ahead, Ricky. Yeah, I mean, uh, initially I never liked the idea of thinking that we're cutting just to hit a specific number. But like Dan said, I feel like there was enough logic within that number that we could reasonably say that I mean, we're putting pressure on the schools, but it's not, it's not, not doable. So I, I feel, and again, with the agreements in place, I mean, the, we just have to work together with them and um, try to build a, a much bigger trust within the next year so that next budget season, next budget season, we can have, you know, hopefully more fruitful conversations and be able to get through this with a little less um, pain and, and, and be able to all just kind of go into this whole process with a lot of confidence. Steve, you're the next at the table. I get to go twice. Yes, <laughs> you Cause do. Because I, I don't get a vote. <laughs> Still um, got a voice. I agree with all of you. I think that next year, if we go through the budget process, and Glenn and I discussed this earlier, we start right away. Once the budget season's finished, once our budget is approved, we sit down. The Board of Finance does have the right to determine the budget format it wants to see and the level of detail. And they did have a, a reasonable conversation. Hey guys, you're coming to us late. They did a lot of work to get us a lot of information. I'm very comfortable with the number that we, that the, I and the Board of Selectmen approved. And I think given the way we're going, it's gonna be even better yet next year and much easier. That everybody goes, yep, I've said this how many times. That's the number, that's what we're going with. And we're supporting that. Thank you. Marcia, you're the next one at the table. You have a voice. I have a voice, but not a vote, and that's a good thing. That my voice says that the non-lapsing fund is um, something we want to get straightened out before then, so we put it in an actual separate fund and not the way we have been handling that. Um, and we want uh, to remember that that amount that's in the non-lapsing fund is limited to 1%. And I mean, that could be a huge number, so if we wanted, if it turned out to be a much larger number, we may want to talk about other creative things we could do before this year ends to, um, for support. But that's a discussion that you and Steve can have with the Board of Ed. You don't necessarily need the Board of Finance, right, for that? I mean, that's the Board of Ed's. Well, the, the issue would come if we go over more than 1% and okay. not on lapsing, it can't go in there. So, and if they needed 1.5%, let's say, then we'd have to come to the boards and figure out a way to get that. But I, I, I'm comfortable we could do that and find a way to do it that makes sense both from an accounting standpoint and a support for both the town and the schools. Perfect. But if we change the non-lapsing fund, the statute has requires you guys to approve it. Yeah. If we okay. change the, the way the it's done or set it up or however we do it, it, it comes to you. So then we'll rely on you guys to work with the Board of Ed to suggest to us, right? Yes. I mean, that's, yep. All right, Eileen, you're next in the round. <coughs> um, yeah, I mean, I think we've worked hard to get to this point. Um, you know, I'm happy to see some contingency put in that, um, you know, will help cushion, you know, potential over overruns with, you know, if anything goes the way it did this year. I think finishing off the school year could be interesting. You know, we keep talking about potential savings in the non-lapsing fund, but there are a lot of unknowns and, you know, our special education costs are going to be different. I don't think they're going to necessarily be a lot cheaper, maybe some parts of it, but um, I, I think we need to be prepared to see what kind of numbers they present. And I think maybe um, in May or June when we have a clearer understanding of how everything plays out, we'll have a better feel for that. Um, I mean, you guys know that I'm always more of an advocate for a little bit more money in the schools, and I think we've asked them to do a lot um, with, with the $817,000 um, cut, and I think as long, you know, making sure that we support them um, and all of the, you know, when they, when they come and they need help, so I just really want to keep that in mind. 
otherwise I think you know the budget process to see what you and Marsha put together on the town side was fantastic and you know the, the level of detail the you know keeping it keeping the numbers low and everything like that I think that was a really good exercise and I mean I thought last year went pretty well and I think this year it's even better. I'll uh, top that, I mean, no, no, I'm going to top Eileen, and I know Brianna's got to turn this. It showed the level of detail the town site had just in today's meeting, because I told you I sat back and listened, and you brought up points, and we were questioning items. You went right to the notebook and said, it says here, these 17 things, mm -hmm. which speaks to the detail of what we're trying to get to that, that Marsha and Steve put together. You proved that point in tonight's meeting. When Dan hit a number and I was like, well, what's that? And you said, oh, but it's this, 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 and this. And then Mark's question about the, mm -hmm. the Cadigan Field, you knew it and the detail was in front of you, in front of all of us, but you yep. were reading it. And I think that level of detail, so I would like to say the same thing and top that, that that level of detail has helped us out a lot. Go ahead, Well, it's my first time ever doing this. So I feel like I don't have any of <laughs> but you know you got the book to me and I was able to understand it and it was easy to read and I think you both worked very hard and just from my limited knowledge and being here on a couple of board meetings I can see that and I think that everything I echo everything that you guys said because everything went before so I don't really think <laughs> I agree 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 yeah, it's the department heads that did the work on the book it did it, it was I mean, everybody team. did it it yeah. was it was really impressive and easy to understand <coughs> All right, so to circle back to, again, what Steve and I talked about is in the summer, we try to sit with the Board of Ed to get expectations set. Steve said that he would, with Marsha, give maybe Marsha and her staff a little time with the Board of Ed to walk through the process of how we've done this again in a slower period. I mean, they spent a lot of time with them now in a hectic period, but in a slower period where they can move forward. We'll support them as much yeah. as they need. Uh, and again, Eileen, to your point, and I think to Dan's point, just as we're talking here, is if we have issues that pop up, because we're going to support it. Dan, we're, we're people of our words, and everyone here knows if the, the catastrophe comes up, we're not leaving anybody hanging, and we're going to figure it out. Mark brought up supplemental taxes. If it's got to come to supplemental taxes, I mean, that's something Steve has to decide, but we'll figure it out, right? I mean, <coughs> we got to do something. We would have to do something. There that would be number 68 but on my that's list. Your that's your choice. That's your choice. I'm yeah. just saying that's your seat. But yeah. So we're all in agreement with Steve's budget on the education, Stephen Marsh's budget on the education, the Board of Selectmen's budget. Board of Selectmen budget. Oh, yeah. Right? I mean, yeah. and then we put it to the town. The town then has the right now to decide whether that number is correct or incorrect. Right? Yes. Okay. So then let's go to the total review. Right now. Want to go to the summary page and have Marshall walk us through <coughs> the lines? Yeah. Can I, can I just uh, yes. discuss one thing? I asked Marsha on what you've got in front of you, the latest budget, to just break out on the town side those things that are new to the town so people don't look at it and go, oh my God, the town has got this huge increase. So we just broke it out. The town operations. This are is the one that she gave us to the legal very size first page. page. First page. The cover page. 318. Yes. For clarity purposes, so we moved capital into the operating budget. That was forty-two thousand. We re put the recurring contingency move back into operating, which is the right thing to do. That number has not changed. We just highlighted those so you could see what the actual town operations are, plus what we added to the town budget from an operating standpoint. And we put in the recurring contingency because a lot of that contingency is for the two open union agreements, which will be operating. Yeah. That's not fair to put them there. And I just No, I think you guys did a good job getting more aligning things where they where they should be. Yeah. You know, um, it makes a little more certainly sense. Certainly yeah. far better than what it was when I left two years ago. Yeah. So really appreciate that. Okay. Let's run through the summaries. Let's start with the, what you just spoke to Steve, I appreciate. What's the town's overall increase? Uh, total percentage 3.43. It's now we changed it now a little bit, right? So we changed. No, wait a minute. I'm sorry. Yeah. Let's go to Marsha's. Yeah, yeah, Marcia, let's go to the active. Um, so the the town the total with all the movement is yep. 3.97. Um, year over year, if you compare it, it's 2.95. 2.95 year on year increase. So less than three year on year. Yeah. Okay. And most of the 
delta there is the contingency. Right. We pumped in. That was knowing, though. That's not Steve's yep. thing. That yep. was our yep. choice to add to that, right? And it's, yeah, just the contingency, the 50000 that's usually there, and the 100000 you added tonight, um, not the amount that will end up in operation. More than that's fine. Yeah. No, then that's that was just a funny way to characterize it. Well, <laughs> it would it would be misleading to put the whole contingency in there. Fair enough, it would be. I agree. Um, Bottom line, less than three overall. Right. Yes. Okay. The the school ended up at five. 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 Um, <coughs> we don't have the allocation of teachers retirement as of now. Um, I agree. We can't. And that didn't come up. No. With any conversations with the legislation, no, I don't think we need to put anything. Um, the capital is um, um, the capital is up because it's a planned increase. The the, mm -hmm. the model has us paying more every year. Yeah. Um, the debt is down because one, it's reducing, and it also is down fifty thousand because we refinanced, or maybe it's twenty five thousand. I can't remember the exact number because we refinanced the two thousand ten bonds. Um, um, so the expenditures um, in total are a little less than 4%, 3.97%. Um, taxes, um, um, the uh, prior year interest liens fees, uh, that's down 3.7%. Um, it would be exactly the same, except yeah, point three seven. Point three seven. Point three seven. Yes, that it would be exactly <coughs> the same. Other than we um, were conservative and on that property tax for the uh, telephone companies, uh, license and permits are down significantly because we had a significant one-time license we and permits that, in we, there. We knew that. That was discussed last year. Um, Intergovernmental revenues are up slightly because um, they're not up over the, what we expect the actual to be this year, but the budget was passed and um, when we had a draft Board of Ed uh, uh, numbers and then uh, draft state numbers and then the state increased them. Um, charges for services, not much different. Um, uh, fines and assessments are down. Um, we had a budget in there. I think it was wetlands and uh, things that uh, caused that. Uh, interest earnings uh, went up um, um, based on our new uh, way of investing. However, it is um, not up as much as it was yesterday. Um, Why is that 137? That, that, that percentage doesn't make sense. Remember last, year, last night we took money off. No, I know the number makes sense, but 137.5% increase off of 120 isn't right. It's just, it's just uh, I will highlight that and check into it. Or didn't grow by 137%. No, that line didn't change rate right. of 285 would have grown by right. 137. Yeah. So that yeah, back there's, a sell -off. there's a sell-off somewhere. Yeah. Um, I'll take a look at that. <coughs> um, and rent and royalties went up that um, um, I've got I've got to take a look at all of those yeah. that because uh, um, I changed them to change off the original budget <coughs> I may have screwed them up at that time you have to change, you have to change column in to column in yes um, but do we have to do that on this whole yeah. thing or just in that regular no, section all, let's all check it all because that's going to yeah, you're, you're going you're through this off of this, not this off of this. So you're doing M, not N. Yep. Well, let's change. No, it should be over last year. Yeah, so so it's one sixty five over one twenty. Yeah, so it should it should be N minus H, not M minus H. Because that's a draft. That but one sixty five divided by one twenty is one hundred thirty seven point five. Yep. So but yeah, minus one. Yep. So it's thirty seven. I'll fix those. Well, I want to see them fixed. Well, I'll fix them right now. I'm sorry. So you guys talk and I'll, 
to watch the stress mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm with you. Let's I can't, I can't, can't do it. Right. Okay, so but I want to see it tonight. I'm sorry. That, yeah. that, no, you're right. Everybody wants to see it tonight. Because it goes all the way up. The H is greater than zero. Potentially. Okay, then. Um, so it should just be N. Yes. Um, and not minus H. Take a break, Fran. Shut us Fran, down you know, for a little take while. Take a ten-minute break so people do a little a break. Because this is the same number. Yes. Yeah. As I was.
Can we get Eileen back? Yep. <laughs> right. Yep. Are you sure? <laughs> We're back up. I'll make a motion we come back into session from our bio break. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. All right. Yep. So, <laughs> good job. <laughs> the, the voiceless box. Before we get to the final numbers, we think we have the final numbers right now. Uh, do you have anything to add, Steve? It's your budget. Yeah, I just want again. to say thank you very much to this board for really doing an excellent job in vetting our numbers and looking and making the questions, uh, putting us on the spot. That's what your job is. That's what the Board of Selectmen's job is, too. You guys have done a phenomenal job. We made it easy for you. <laughs> well, but no, you guys have been reasonable and careful and thoughtful, and I really appreciate it. I really do. And the boards are working really well together, I think, I, I for agree. what's best for Brooklyn. Thank you. Marsha, it's your budget, too, with Steve's. you have anything you need to add? Because you and Steve work together as a team really well. I know Steve is the head seat, but you're there. Do you have anything? No, no, I, I appreciate the questions that, um, um, and uh, last, like last night with the, um, looking at the total for, for that, that um, I was hoping to have it for tonight where we have a summary by total, but uh, we had to do some adjusting because all those uh, fire departments have different categories, but, um, um, but for next year we should, um, or even um, this year, I know how to pull it from the computer, we could, um, we could do that. Any other board member want to speak in summary? Nope. Nope. All nope. right. So we have to make two motions tonight. Then we're ready to vote. Do you think to make a motion? Right. So wait. Can we? I just. I do want to review. So the. <coughs> that's right. Oh, we did, we never got to the bottom we, of the. We didn't get to the bottom of the. Yeah. We never, right. Yeah. Right. So right. never mind. We All got right. through revenue, and I think we finished revenue, which is four point one. That didn't change. Four point one zero. No. Right. Um, three point nine seven. Three point nine seven. Which. Yeah. Which version are you looking at? What date? 318. That's today. You have to look at the screen because we made changes on that. On the revenue real line time. changes? Oh, because taxes, yeah, taxes when we change. Yeah. But the, it, the, the taxes will change when we It changes to automatically to match okay. the expenses, so yes. So it's what? 3.97? 3 3 3 All right. Uh, you want to carry on on the... Um, so that's uh, the revenue that... Um, we calculate the value of, of one mil. It's um, we have the same um, uh, five-year collection rate. We didn't change that. It's still the five-year collection rate because we looked last night that it doesn't make much of a difference. Um, um, the significant difference that um, um, and the elderly tax relief um, is at uh, same as last year is at half a million because that, that's the max that. Uh, that it could be. So the mill rate would be uh, 3.18. 30. 30.18. 30. 30. Right. 30. But we don't set that tonight as a group. That comes Correct. after the, yeah. the process. After the referendum. Right. Yeah. With an increase of 3.56 overall in the total budget. In the mill rate. 3.56% change in the mill rate over last oh, year. Yes, right. sir. Yes, sir. And that's based off the increased revenue was right. the expenditures. Absolutely. Right. Yes. That's all I want to read. Good. Just get through that. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. okay. So then we have to make two motions. So first we did the capital last year. So what is our total appropriation? What number do we have to approve on the, the capital side? Um, the capital side, we'd want to approve this number. Um, uh, well, we probably want to yeah. approve both. Right. Um, we got to do that. We did last year's. We did the, the appropriate the for the capital plus the debt insurance costs is what we did. Debt services. services, that debt issuance costs. I apologize. Um, was the capital around 1.8 million? Last year was 3.265 million. So that so we must be approving the total here. Um, yes, it's up with it. Um, the total that we're going to spend on capital, bonded and non-bonded, is four million five ninety-six eight ninety-nine. Five ninety-six eight ninety-nine. Okay. And the debt issuance cost. Last year it was one hundred and sixty thousand dollars. It will be something less this year because we have new vendors uh, for both our well, legal I think that and bond council. That's what the one hundred and sixty was for bond council and legal. 
for the expense of doing the borrowing, we roll that into the overall approved bonding. Okay, so last year I think we did 5%. Um, um, and if we think of 5% yes. again, um, But if it's lower, we just don't borrow it. Dan, you good with that? Uh, 29 is a big number. No, it should be off the, <coughs> off the financing amount, right? It should be off the financing number, yes. Plus, uh, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Um, so this is a total financed. That's not an absolute number. I mean, I, I would round it to 130. 130? Yep. So then, can you add 130 to the 4,596, whatever number that is? Can we add that easy? 4726899. Okay, you want to do a motion at a time and get down and well, go to the, the next That's one? the total including cash. What you need to do is U and V. Strip cash out. Four million seven hundred twenty-six is the total the, capital. The cash is coming is for it? borrowing. So you want to approve the two million five hundred eighty plus one hundred thirty thousand in. No, that makes sense. So let's give me the number then. Let's All right. get it right. So that is um, the the total that's borrowed. Yep. Is um, two million five eighty nine sixty nine. Okay, so then we got to add the 130 to right. that. Um, is two million seven ten nine sixty nine. Okay. So then let's just start with this, and then we'll go to the next set of numbers. Okay. Yep. So I'd like to make a motion that the town appropriate two million five hundred eighty thousand nine hundred sixty nine dollars plus 130000 for debt issuance costs to fund the cost of capital projects and issue the general obligation bonds or notes and temporary notes in the amount not to exceed $2,710,969 as agreed by the Board of Finance. In the event the Board Council requires modifications to this motion, we delegate the authority to approve the modification to the Chairman of the Board of Finance. Second. Discussion? They usually like you to go in 10,000 increments because when we borrow, we don't borrow $369. Yeah. So, so let's do, um, if we did... So it's either 2710000 or 2720 So if we did 2710000 I would do the 2710000 that, um, um, hmm? that would mean the debt service, the financing costs are 129031 Actually, they don't even like the 10. So I'd say 2700000 <laughs> All right. Sounds good to me. So I'll amend the motion to the total amount not to exceed $2,700,000. And you want to amend the debt service, the right, financing the cost yeah. to be one nineteen oh thirty one. Right. All right, I'm going to start all over. Yep. 119, what? 031. 119, oh, 31. Okay. I'll make a motion that the town appropriate $2,580,969 plus $119,031 for debt issuance costs to fund the cost of capital projects and issue its general obligation bonds or notes and temporary notes in the amount not to exceed two million seven hundred thousand dollars as agreed by the Board of Finance in the event the bound council requires modification to this motion we delegate the authority to approve the modifications to the chairman of Board of Finance second now, one more discussion I go you're actually borrowing two million five hundred two million seven hundred it's okay. not a round number okay but you can change that you could go down nine hundred sixty nine dollars when you approve a change I thought we. I 
we were by no, the what? two million seven hundred is the it's total. Total, but if you notice, also the town appropriated three million two hundred sixty-five thousand. That's what what that isn't what it was last year. It was a different number, and we went up to get a nice even number to borrow. That's what they like. They don't like the borrow high number. But the borrowing is going to be two point seven. You're saying the borrowing number needs to be round. But all right, the so, hundred sixty for that. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, so the I'm, motion's I'm good. good. Yeah. I'd, I'd say the motion's good. Could you repeat it? Though? No, no. I just want to be careful that we get it right. We could change it to two million five hundred eighty-one thousand, <coughs> and then the um, one eighteen. And then it would be one nineteen. Even. Then you can have two even numbers, and we just change thirty-one dollars. You got two now numbers rounded out to a thousand. Is that what you want? And it still comes to the two point seven even. So you're saying two five eight two five five eight two five one. eight one two five eight okay one. and one one, one nine one one eight no one one nine one one nine it's one one nine oh three one now we thirty one dollars yeah, it's one oh, oh I see we do you take out the nine six yeah okay I don't think we have to round it because I think it's just the total the total is the most important it's the important one so do we want to round it or not no let's leave it fine two seven so okay and leave the motion as is yeah go ahead all right. I got to rescind. I guess rescind the first motion that we made, and, and make this the second motion. We'll read it again one more time, just so we're clear. Okay, the town appropriates two million five hundred eighty thousand nine hundred sixty-nine dollars plus one hundred nineteen thousand thirty-one dollars for debt issuance costs to fund the cost of capital projects and issue its general obligation bonds or notes and temporary notes in the amount not to the exceed $2,700,000 as agreed by the Board of Finance in the event Board Council requires modification of this motion, we delegate the authority to approve the modification to the Chairman of the Board of Finance. Second. Discussion. It was Bond <laughs> Council, you said, right? Yes, he yes, said Bond <laughs> Council. All those, sure favor, all those in favor. One of those times he said. All those in favor. Aye. Aye. Motion Aye. passes six zero. <coughs> okay. Now we're going to go on to the town side. So the total budget number we need, Marsha. Mm -hmm. Expenditures. Um, the total expenditures are on the summary, and they are. Um, seventy-two million eight hundred and thirty-six thousand five fifteen. Okay, Board of Education amount. Forty-six thousand two hundred forty-six million. Forty-six million. Oh, numbers give me such a headache. Um, forty-six million two zero seven zero two seven. Forty-six million. Okay. Two zero seven zero two seven. Okay. Uh, town. town operating budget. Nineteen million six forty four six twenty eight. Okay. Then we had in here capital projects. <coughs> Two million thirty five thousand nine hundred thirty. Uh, and then it's and contingency and debt service of. Um, it's just debt service. Okay. Of four million nine forty eight nine thirty. Four million nine thirty eight. Nine forty eight. Nine forty eight. Nine thirty. Nine thirty. Nine thirty. Which represents a change in the mill rate of. Three point five six. Percent. From where were we at? Um, it was 29.14. Yeah. To? 30.18. This is going to be enough. For <laughs> uh, heck no, I'm going to get it right the first time okay. out the gate and go home a winner, I hope. <laughs> That's a steep high point discussion. Wow. When you go I, to the casino, discussion. one of these numbers. Discussion. When they open. All right. I'd like to make a motion that the go back so we can, so we can follow. Yeah, I can. 
Sorry. Make a motion that the town of Brook or to finalize the 2021 town of Brookfield budget by accepting the total expenditures in the amount of seventy-two million eight hundred and thirty-six thousand five hundred and fifteen dollars to include the Board of Education budget in the amount of forty-six million two hundred and seven thousand and twenty-seven dollars. Town operating budget in the amount of nineteen million six hundred and forty-four thousand six hundred and twenty-eight dollars. Capital projects of two million thirty-five thousand nine hundred and thirty dollars in debt service of four million nine hundred and forty-eight thousand nine hundred and thirty dollars, which represents a change in the mill rate of three point five six percent from twenty nine point one four to thirty point one eight as referenced in the attached 2020 and 2021 Town of Brookfield budget summary. I'll second that. Discussion. Good work. How much time would we need to update the mill percentage increase? Should there be any additional funds to carry over into like a non lapsing fund or something like that? Um, you have, um, we have the calendar for. You have until Friday to submit this budget. That is. Um, so but before the ballots. So this budget gets voted on. It, we're vote, voting on the expense budget. The mill rate gets set gets set after an right. and, oh, and, and mill we, rate we actually did, we actually did that last year. I mean, yeah. If I remember correctly, where we changed the mill rate a little bit because there was something. We can change the mill rate, right. not to the budget. When right. we right. set the mill right. rate, right. we right. can add to the mill rate. Right. Right. So if the mill rate is the thirty point one eight, we can make it thirty one right. if we deem necessary. Yeah, there was a there was a revenue change or something along yeah. the lines last year. We voted right. on the budget, right, which is the expenses. Right, right. We, can, we have a separate meeting to set the mill rate, right. which cannot. It's based it, on the budget, but we can add to it. And okay, it rare passes, to change it, but you can. Yeah, that's it, why you have to meet the set. Yeah, just in case something would come up, yeah. we could. If it passes would, the first time, amazing. which would be um, the nineteenth, is the day of the referendum. Yeah. If it passes that, you have till June third to um, set the mill rate. You usually okay. meet the night after yeah. the referendum gets approved, mm -hmm. which is what's <coughs> on the calendar. Right now. Yeah. Um, we and what we did was we tried to update the calendar so that. We have everything on one calendar we, um, to, so that it's all interactive. We change the year up here and everything. So just change the oranges, everything else changes. Um, we did it in conjunction with Bond Council to make sure that we had all the bonding dates correct. Um, so they have reviewed it. Any other discussion? Eileen? You. All right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes 6 0. I think that concludes our. Uh, can we have a discussion? Do we need to have a discussion? In, uh, this has to go to a town meeting, and how is that? Do we have any update on how we think that can happen? Are you looking we're, into that? Yeah, that's a very, very good question. We're looking at that now. Um, the problem with a town meeting is you have to check voters in, you have to check their IDs. That's touching, looking, feel. Okay, we're gonna have people hold up, and we have to have the public there, and we have to vet who they are. Right. I, my guess is the state is not going to allow us to hold a closed meeting and just approve it. And that I don't. And they shouldn't. Believe. And they shouldn't. So uh, I've talked to John Burreal about this. We typically last year we had more board members at that meeting than we had public. Agreed. So we could. I think uh, safely hold it at the high school auditorium and make sure that people socially distance. Move around. Don't sit next to anyone unless it's your husband or wife. And I think we could do that. Now, this is still a very fluid and moving situation, <coughs> and we may get different guidance from the state, but I would say we plan to do it the way we're doing it now, to have the town meeting in a big space, the auditorium. So if if we were to go on those that string, maybe we start thinking about potentially having uh, uh, different groups come through 
right? So you don't tally the votes, but everybody votes somehow and present it maybe twice. I remember that vote, that vote is only to, to send it to the <coughs> I just, or, or if we start if to you get, want, you can lower it. If we get, lower start it. to get to a spot where we're going to have people closer to six feet to each other, we have to think about these ahead of time. I think we'd have to get four or five hundred people in the high school okay. to do that. Um, if we came to that point and we thought it was unsafe, if like four hundred people show up, we're going to have to rethink it because we can't have four hundred people in close proximity to each other. I don't think, given the coronavirus issue that we have now, I don't think we're going to get four hundred people. I, I don't always like to, I think we all would like to see a lot of people show up to a town meeting for this, because this is the single most important thing they vote on during the year, that affects them directly. But well, I think we would be able said, this is just to set the date. Yeah. I just want to make, I mean, I'm sure you're on top of it, I just want to make sure we're planning and have a contingency for, yeah. for this, because these dates all get stacked up pretty tight. They do, and I, I really... And I would like to stay within our charter. I, I want to stay within our charter. I really do. Right. So we'll try to figure it out. On the other side, for meetings, we're looking at different um, electronic systems where we can let people call in. Right. They can even we, there's one we're looking at where if they have a camera on their TV, the board comes up on the thing, and above comes the people who have joined the meeting publicly, and you can mute them and unmute them, invite them to speak. We're looking at that right now. I'd like to see us have that for the next real board finance meeting period. I'd love to have that. Um, it's, a, it's a bit complicated, the problem we have, it's usually just for computer to computer. We can't get a whole board on one computer, right? So we're trying to see if we can take this feed mm -hmm. and put, put that on the system, feed it into that program so that you can see the whole board and then we'd see the people up above and then we'd probably have to hire an additional person. Does anybody have comments? Would you like to speak? That sort of thing. It's still in a, okay. we just started it today. I'd love to be able to do that and have public comment. Because we're also going to have to think about the vote. Yeah. So we talked about the, the town we, meeting, but there will have to be a we vote. We started to talk about that. The registrars had a meeting with the Secretary of State yesterday via, you know, teleconference. Um, I think, again, if we're careful, um, I talked to John Burrell. They're doing a complete clean of the schools. Right, and so we, I don't, I'm not afraid of using the facility. What I am concerned about is having a lot of people congregate. The high school gym and the Huckleberry gyms are very big. Those tables are pretty far apart, right? We put a little wider table, you put the two people checking in six feet apart, you put each street six feet apart, and then just have people outside. You gotta keep six feet and we let one in, two in. Don't let people pile up like they do occasionally, 10 to 12 people waiting for you know, the A to Z, A right. to G Street. So, I think we can I, do as it. As I said, I'm sure you're on top of it. I just yeah. want everyone to feel reassured. That yeah. My real concern work. there is the poll workers. Right. They're typically over 60. Yep. Every, almost every mm -hmm. single one of them. So I've asked the There's training needed to be a poll worker. So oh, we, you can be 16 years old and be a poll worker. Right, but you need yeah, training. You need training. You need training. People could be high school so, students the day before. Exactly. Uh, I talk <coughs> to, I'm, I'm going to talk to John Burrell about this tomorrow. One of the recommendations that the Secretary of State said, you can get your child out of school for a day if the work that falls. Right? Mm -hmm. So if we get 16, 17, 18 year olds, we'd have to train them, but then we would pay them. And that would be a big plus. The second option we have is using town employees to work the polls. So if that if worse came to worse, we close down town hall for the day, right? And then train all our staff and have them go out there. Some of the staff are going to be very, very against that. Yeah, Marsha, are you ready to? I'm ready. I'm ready. But we, we're working on a number of options. You know, one of the most important things we do here is vote and make sure people can vote. Right. And I'm, I'll be damned if we don't get our vote in. We just no, no, and I done. was um, asking to so yeah. more so that I can hear, but everybody listening. Yeah, we're, we're, we're working on it to keep it safe. And, and I know you're doing your best. I just yeah. you know, and it's, the problem is these things are constantly moving. Right. I may say to you next week, totally different. I you know what? We may have to hire tents, run electric to it. I don't. I don't know what we might have to do. The intent is to hold on. As we get more guidance, we're we're planning it very carefully. That's all I had. Sorry. I think as a, just a point of order, tomorrow night will be canceled. I mean, since mm -hmm. we've concluded tonight, 
Uh, if we need to do any changes, I think if something goes awry, you, we've given the point of meeting the right, but if we have to have a meeting, I'll come down here, you guys will call in. You know, you're obviously welcome to come, but it'll be us you know, that'll deal with this and the rest can call in so we avoid the, the, the process of exposure. I mean, y'all are welcome, but y'all can call in, we'll have it, right? So right now we're all set. You have what you need. I'll, I'll double check it in the morning. I'll send a PDF out to everybody yep. that, um, 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 with the final thing so you can say yay or nay before it goes to the town clerk. Now in years past, the chairman of the Board of Finance submitted it to the town clerk with a letter, cover letter. We okay. can help you with that if yeah, you want. Yeah, I'll come in. Did, okay, did, so did it's just a quick guys. letter. Here's the budget that's approved by the Board of Finance. All right, I'll come. We'll soon. create it for you? Yeah, if you would, okay. it would be really appreciated. Not a problem. It would be really appreciated. And if you can come in tomorrow or yes, Friday sir. morning. Yeah, I'm coming tomorrow. Have Absolutely. to have it in by midnight. Yes, sir. I'd come okay. tomorrow, so just Great. let me know when you want. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Fran, shut up.